everybody, and welcome back to something I haven't played on stream in months and months and months and months and months. RimWorld. So, uh, I always go into RimWorld with a theme, and I had a little trouble coming up with a theme because I've been doing themed runs for quite a while now. And then I remembered there are Call of Cthulhu mods for RimWorld. So I just went over um, and I downloaded uh, all of the Call of Cthulhu mods that I could find and turn them on, along with all of the mods I, you know, kind of the the base mods I normally use just to try to, like, smooth out some of the rough edges. Um, so I will leave the list on the screen here for a hot second if anybody's watching on YouTube after the fact and they want to take a look at the uh, the mod list. It's mostly Call of Cthulhu, like, Rim of Madness and Call of Cthulhu stuff and flavor things to go around with it. And then a lot of the rest of it is just, you know, like simple things. Bulk cookie, fluffy breakdowns, allow tool, pick up and haul, animal prosthetics. I don't know, eh, I'm gonna leave this one on for now, expanded prosthetics. I'll leave that one on for now. I might turn that off later though. Uh, yeah, just um, incident person stands, color-coded mood bars, things like that. It's not anything crazy. All right, and we have not started yet. <laughs> so we're gonna have to, oh, wait, hey, look at this. There's different starts too. Elder things and vampires. Uh, uh, you awaken after a crash landing on a remote planet on the rim. Looking around you, uh, you see yourself and other colonists. Between the both of you is a sealed coffin. Oh my. To start with three people, non-player character has a 5% chance to start with vampirism. Hmm. I, 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 I don't think we're going to use this. This, uh, let's see, map is scattered with the sun's power is weakened and the night is lengthened by 10%. Interesting. Three surviving elder things and a human slave. After the rebelling, uh, Shagoth slaves began, uh, decapitating their overlords. The elder things had few options left for survival. Using their wings like solar sails, they entered a protected hibernation state to survive the depths and dangers of space. Not all survived the trip, but those that did safely entered the atmosphere of a world on the rim. Okay, so I don't think we're going... I think we're just going to start with some basics and kind of ease our way into the craziness of Call of Cthulhu here. I always I always like to start with a lost tribe um, because I, I like having the, you know, more stuff at the beginning to do, like getting out of the, the tribal stage. Naked Brutality? Naked uh, Brutality is, um, base game. And yes, the bot's on. Oh, uh, and before I forget, let's go, let's go to the bot and go to the queue and open it up. So if some, because we gotta uh, come up with some, some, with some colonists. So we'll go ahead and do that. And let's see. I like to play on rough, um, on, for, for, for content, I always go on reload at any time mode because you never know when a bug, especially with mods or something like that is going to screw you up. And we do have HP Lovecraft as our storyteller here. I not, I don't know how I feel about it leaving him on rough, but, uh, we're going to go with that. Oh, and we'll go ahead and do the full world. Um... Randomize the seat a couple time. No, I don't like that. I saw. Pe I swear to God, I just saw penis in there. We'll leave it on orange. We'll leave it on orange. Um, rainfall and temperature. I'm gonna turn the rainfall up. And the normally I kind I, I I tend to go towards like colder environments. I'm gonna turn everything up just a, a hair there in generator world. This will take a hot second. Not too long, though. And exclamation! If you didn't see it, exclamation point! Join to uh, pop onto the queue to uh, to be a colonist. Uh. Try that again. I'm not sure if it worked. Uh, 
Let's see, did my mods did my mod selection already fuck up the game? Already. Ooh, ooh, what are the fish things? Oh, they're like um, they're like Cthulhu towns. All right, we need to find a place to go. Ooh, ooh. Chicago base of operations. Hey, we found Chicago. I love it. Uh, uploading this to YouTube? Of course I will be. Um, most all of my streams... Wow, there's actually a couple factions up at the pole there. Most of my streams I do upload. See, what I was thinking what might be a, an interesting idea is to start on a island. So that we have to... Um, we would have to use the, the, the rocket escape pods to get to someplace else. Uh, but, but let's take a look at the world. Let's bip around, see if we see any... Whoa. Camp Monroe, the 13th Infantry Division. I love it. Just trying to find something that kind of sticks out. I'm kind of digging this area where there's this little isthmus here. Kind of like that. But this is a this is a open desert, and considering we're playing with a bunch of stuff I've never used before, I might want to try something a little more... Uh, <laughs> uh, I got a couple people going, uh, I island. Oh, we do have this cool island up here. We can stick to this island. I, I like the, I mean, frankly, I like the looks of it. There is a tiny, see, what is the name of this thing? Uh, Napanok, the seaside town, town folk of Ash Lake. Lake? Or I could even start, you know what, why don't we start on the larger one? The Collapsed Tagia Forest, uh, Rack, uh, Rack, okay, whatever that is. Can you travel out of it later? Yes, that's no, that's no like. Um, because what you could do is you could use the, um, the, like, rocket escape pod thingies. I can't remember what they're called, but they, um, I don't, well, uh, it would depend. It would depend on the range. Because the the closest area to go to lo would look what looks like it's from here to here, or possibly from like over here to over here. I don't remember what the ranges are on these things. You don't get many missions or raids. Ah, you know what? You might be right about that. You might be right about that. And that stuff is for. We could go to some place that's kind of heavily uh, populated. Just a nice boreal forest in a heavily populated area. Ooh, ooh. What about... What about, like, right here? We are kind of far north. It looks like the temperatures... We do have a, re uh, a regular grow growth season. We're on this little isthmus between two, like, populated areas. Some jungle. This is, let's see, this is boreal forest. This is temperate forest. This is jungle. I haven't ever done a jungle before. We could try a jungle. Is this a swamp? Ooh, a, sw a tropical swamp. Why don't we try that? A tropical swamp. Because there's some swampland down here. We could do a swamp. We could do a swamp with a river. How about that? We do a swamp jungle area. I'm kind of digging. I'm kind of digging like maybe there's at least little spots up here. What is this? That's ten, that's temperate swamp. Swamps are annoying as you cannot build on certain tiles. Uh, you can get over that. You can um, build bridges. Cumularia. What's the, the red circle is a is a batty. I think we're gonna try a swamp. I've never done a swamp before, but I um. We could we could I don't know is it is it gonna throw me an error if I try to start this close to batties? Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna be at, I'm, I'm gonna be right on this bay. 
I'm going to be on a road. I'm going to have a river in the middle of a swamp. I think it'll be interesting. There's some batties nearby and some friendlies up the coast. Boom. Ho, 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 ho. Whoa. Creepy. Vengeful child. I'll say. Okay. Um, mother bitcher. Uh, generally what I like to do is just randomize. I know a lot of people like to use prepare carefully. I like to just randomize till I get like a good spread. Gonna name the colony. Oh, name the colony Orlando. That's beautiful. It's a fetid swamp that nobody wants to go to. Blood for the blood God. Blood uh, for the cooking blood and plants. God. Crafting. That's a good one. Um, let's see. We, I always, uh, let's, uh, let's get someone with de decent medical skills. There's an eight. Oh, spine, bad back. Bad back. I'm gonna randomize until I get someone with a decent medical. Three. Mm -mm. What, what are with all the fucking broken backs? Not good, but I can work with it. Psychopath, abrasive, and great memory. War chief meds. Oh, incapable of cleaning Holly and plat work. Nope. Medical five, but a burning diddly. And just a small scar. Oh, a bad scar. These people are all jacked up. Bad back. Come on, game. Ooh, there we go. Hey, oh! Someone with a medical skill and no massive um, issues. I can take that. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. You've got no nothing, nothing jumping out at me. Let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty good character right there. That's a great character right there. Well, we'll just leave that one as is. And I think everybody else is pretty good, as long as I don't have anybody who is got, me like, horrible problems. No, I think that's pretty good. Lowest is intellectual, but it's not too bad. All right, there we go. And you know what? Um, we're going to have to start picking names now. So uh, these will be the initial five exclamation point join in chat right now. If you want to go on the queue, I'll give you guys a second if anybody else wants to be on there. No flame equals 33% training speed. One flame, 100%. Two flames, 150%. Exactly. Basically, it means um, they will uh, become more adept at the skill quicker if they have one or two flames on it. Also, good evening. Hello, hello. And if anybody has just joined, we'll make sure we'll drop a couple ducats in the chat so that anybody who doesn't have any ducats can get an opportunity to pop their diddly in. And then we'll pick some names. Um, uh, I, I unfortunately will be taking one myself. I always like to be in my colony. So, but that still gives us four opportunities here. So let's start popping those off. First one. Uh, do, 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 do. Next up, Thomas Rax. Thomas Rax. Love it. Next up. Next up, Fake Cliff. Fake Cliff. I'm kind of liking these names so far. Next up. Let's do it. Do it. I wish I had a better babbity voice. Zate! Is one of these a better shooter than the other? Well, he's got a burning passing passion for shooting things, so that kind of works. Zayt! And last but not least! Sorry, don't mind me cracking my knuckles. Two dog! Okay, I'm kind of loving the names here. Let's do this. Do it. Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! It's beautiful. The gods were very angry 
The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey on foot, with no close friends name? to turn to... Nautius Max. Stubbs! <laughs> bits for the bit gods. Thanks for the diddly. Uh, only, uh, bits uh, for the bits god. Uh, a few to return. You must build a new home in the wilderness, like your ancestors did. I love it. Holy crap, look how thick the forest is. Woo! Oh, this is beautiful. Where's the, uh, where's the road? Is this, this is, this is the highway right here. It's like overgrown as a mother. I like that building right there as a starting location. A little close to the edge of the map, though. This is, this is beautiful. I love it. We've got a, we got a nice beach here. Uh, a, a cute river? This highway? Now, I, I like the looks of that. This one is right next to me. Let's, let, let's, let's check something out first, though. Va <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Disabled events only. Do not spawn in encounters or raids that can appear in special locations across the map. Standard. The chance of another character you encounter having vampirism is 1 in f 1 in 20. Lowest generation vampire active outside of events is 7th gen. Standard vampirism. Whoa. I made it darker. Yeah, that might be an ancient danger, but if someone walks up to the edge and it says that it is, I can just tell them to go away. Zay. <laughs> Go touch the wall. Tell me what your elf I see. No, it's not an ancient danger. Eight days until the next full moon. Interesting. All right, what do we got? We've got a fox. Fennec fox, and we got Jed the cat. Kind of reminds me of Jeb from, uh, what's it called? Um, first things first. Unforbid everything on the map. No ancient danger, yep. So we're gonna go in there, and what we'll do is set up some zones. I'm just gonna put a stockpile zone. Uh, you know what? We'll put our stockpile zone against the wall here, is what we'll do. Because then we can build like a lean-to out. And we'll just put a dumping zone uh, just across the river over there. Watch, watch an elder thing. Blah, just tentacle porn as soon as Zate opens up the door there. All right, um, whoa, bones. Put, put that in there. And, uh, oh, I love it. Bone floor. Oh, bone tile. I can walk on the bones of my enemies. <laughs> no, this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't think I, do I have access to ta- or not tables, um, Elder thing chair. Reception table. A skull, th a literal skull throne. There's a literal skull throne. All right. Well, for now, sleeping spots. And we'll, uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three of these will be medical. And we have a, we have a starter colony. Replace the highway with bone tile. That's how you know you're in Magnus country. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's how you know you've made it to Orlando. The highway's paved with human bones. I love it. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Oh my god. And we have rhinoceros in our jungle. And boobalopes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is, it's beautiful. All right, um, I am going to have them start chopping down the trees just in the local area. So I have a lot of wood to work with. And um, where did all the weapons go? Did everybody pick those up? We'll see. Is it Rhinoceros Maximus? I am Rhinoceros Decimus Brutidius. Did they pick up all the weapons? Or what? 
Oh, no, yeah, they just had them in their pockets. All right, so we need to arm our people. Turn that on. Uh, I remember how to play this game. Bio. So Magnus wants to be a melee dude. So let's, uh, well, let's take a look. Fade Cliff definitely needs to be a melee. Thomas Rax is a melee. Two Dog is a melee. And, oh god, uh, alrighty then. Zate, you get a wooden bow. Magnus, uh, I, 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 you get the wooden bow, because basically everybody else needs to be, okay, okay, this is fine. Uh, melee. Thomas Rax. Melee. And, melee. There we go. We might have to rejigger that a little bit later. Primal cult that worships our great tentacle face thingy. Oh, God, yes. Exactly. The great tentacle porn monster in the sky or under the sea. Oh, we got a monkey, too. We got a little monkey friend. All right. So, work. Uh, construction. Thankfully, everybody can do... It looks like they have... Almost everybody has a little bit of construction doodle. So, I'm going to put those all on three. Zate's the highest. So, I'm going to put him on construct one. See, in terms of mining, uh, 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 that's Zaid as well. Growing. Thomas, you are going to be our head grower. I'm going to put you and you on three. Cook. Boom, boom, boom. Let those guys work on that. Everybody should be on craft for minimum. Apparently, Zaid's the only one who wants to do it. Zaid's the only one who will research, who will mine, who will construct, who does a little gardening on the side. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, well. Oh, uh, one other thing. Plant cut. There we go. If you're not doing anything, go chop down those trees and let's speed this up a little. And we've got, we've got our barracks. Huzzah! There was much rejoicing. Well, what's it like outside? Oh, <laughs> they're sweeping over here because that's the dumping zone. All right, one thing I know I'm going to, it's going to be useful. Who do we got? The Dayman! Dayman! Woo! Fighter of the Night Man! Woo! Champion of the Sun! Woo! Did you just get a bath? Why are you soaking wet? Did she get a bath? You're a master of karate! Oh, what's the, what's the rest of that? I don't remember the rest of that song. No, it's a, no, it's it's not. I have not lost it. It's a thing. It's a thing. Go on. It's a, it's from TV. It's from It's Always Sunny. Uh, and I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna put a, just a little footbridge in over here. There we go. Just because. Oh, oh no, we got a chinchilla eating my food. Okay, that's another thing we're gonna have to do like immediately. Oh, you're a master of karate and friendship for everyone, Dayman. That's how it goes. Yeah, there it is. If, you know, if you've never seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, it's a fucking funny show. Oh, man. And me, me singing random crap on stream is pretty com common, too. So, See, look, the Dayman knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See now the thing is now we need someone named the Nightman in chat too. Oh god, <laughs> I keep failing the first the first thing over to oh also definitely take out the tree you put we put in front of a door and keep the chinchillas out. Thank you, Zate. Alrighty. Um, and what I, I'm also going to go ahead and just um tell them to. Oh, this is all mud, isn't it? <laughs> God. Yeah. So I want to keep building here. So we'll just tell him to uh, lay down a bunch of stuff there. Because I'm, I'm going to keep building off the side here. Oh! Forbid the animals. Yeah. I always forget about zones for animals. Um, clear loud area. Wait, 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 wait. Um, here. Let's manage areas. Let's do this. New area, and we're gonna call this 
animal default zone. Okay, and I'm going to invert it so it's everything. And then I'm going to go to animal default zone and just clear this out. Boom, just like that. And then actually remember to assign my animals to the default zone. And what we should do is because the the fox, apparently the fox and the uh, the monkey are good as attack animals. And the fox is good to haul, so get him training too. Oh, that's gonna be stuck in my head for a while now. Day man, woo! Fighter of the night man, woo! Champion of the sun, woo! Your master of karate and friendship for everyone. Day man. Well, I mean, considering. Day if I could get a barracks up on day one, I'm happy. This is fine. We're at, uh, I'm doing this right now though because I wanted to put like a little kitchen area right there, and uh, I needed them to lay this down first. But that's fine. Any either way, it'll be a similar amount of work because it, they're not going to have to build a wall. Day one successful. There's plenty of animals here. <laughs> Say, oh, there's elephants. Oh my god. Oh, there's a herd of elephants, a herd of rhinos, boomalopes, panthers, alpacas, cassowaries, wild boars is probably what we'll go for first with a capybara. Uh, tortoises, rats, monkey, cobra, chinchilla. Woo. Ultimate goal? Um, I, 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 I guess would be to uh, form a cult of to Cthulhu and force everybody in the world. To, you know, follow similar cult. Convert the planet. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe find the home of the 13th Infantry Division and wipe them out. The mod list is, uh, I might have to put, I might put that mod list in the PM for the next stream so it doesn't take up so much room in chat there. Thank you guys. All right, that's a good start there. So, um, production. Butcher table. And a fueled stove. They do. They should not be in the same room. Normally, I put them back to back. I think what I'll do this time is I'll, I'll leave a, a wall section like there. And then there'd be a chair there, an empty space there. It'd be like this. And then furniture, just throw down a stool for now. And wooden door, go all the way through like that. There we go. Breed chinchillas, then offer them up as sacrifice. Isn't one Call of Cthulhu game enough for you? No, I need less sanity. Zate, oh yeah, I forgot. Last time we played this uh, on stream, we had to chain Zate to a... Uh, a research table. Then the one time I let him off, he got hit in the face with a doomsday rocket. I don't remember. Did it blow? Was it, somebody survived a hit with a doomsday rocket? I don't remember which one it was though. Um, and uh, then ideally, what we'll do is there'll be some sort of food. You know what we should do? Clear out an area for for cut plants. That's five by five, like that. Throw that all out. Type of area only come with mod. No, the uh, the swamps are base game. If you turn up the um, like I turned up the 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 temperature and the uh, the rainfall a little bit, gives you swamps and jungles. And now I will go. Uh, let's see, work. Let's go to hunt. Mr. Zate, it should be Zate and Magnus, because they're the two with the, um, uh, with the guns. Or, <laughs> bows? There we go. They're the two with the bows. And we'll actually send, uh, let's see, wildlife. Probably something easy. Let's tell them to go get the capybaras first. They're not going to kill me, theoretically, if something, if, if I, shoot the pink misted, yeah. 
cantaloped. And I'm missing a wall. Alright, and then what we'll do is we'll put in a little food storage area right here. That is not symmetrical. But it's okay for now. A gatherer from the coalition of Colnia is passing. He is named Blue... Blue? Hi, Patty. He doesn't look very very delicious. I'm not going to kill him. Hey, Frooks. Yes, we got some more Rimworld today. And we're almost out of... We are out of food, so yeah. Need to go kill some... Kill slash eat some capybara. Um, also... Because we're gonna put food in here. Uh, zones. Clear allowed area. Tell the animals not to go in there. Actually, probably should have them not in the whole kitchen area for cleanliness. And then we'll go. Oop. No, that's okay. Zones. Stockpile zone. And is there a way to rename these? I thought there was. I could have sworn there was a way to rename zones. Hey, settings, delete, shrink, expand, hide, rename. This is going to be the uh, food storage. Clear all, put it on preferred, so that'll override, override that one. All right, nose it just food. Animal corpses, monstrous corpses, oh my. St I just saw Star Vampire. Anyone here familiar with ASMR? I'm aware of it. Actually, I'm only aware of it because chat told me about it one stream. Somebody said something like, hey, if we donate $1,000, we'll, 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 we, can we get Ben to make an ASMR video? And I was like, what's an ASMR video? And then someone sent me a link to ASMR videos and I was like, And now, oh, of course, Zade is the most industrious person. Uh, ASMR. It is is an acronym for a bunch of words that doesn't make any sense because the per. I looked it up. The per because it didn't make any sense to me. It stands for autonomous. Uh, what is it? What is it? It's like. Oh, I can't. ASMR. Autonomous, like autonomous stimulant meridian response or something like that and the person who came up with the with the with, with the phrase didn't know what it meant they thought it meant like orgasm or something like that but uh it doesn't so it doesn't technically make any sense all right somebody go kill a capybara but it's basically videos that have like video uh, audio or um uh, visual stimulus that basically relax you autonomous sensory meridian response that was it there we go. Oh, and do we not have enough steel for this? Yeah, so that's okay. We can fix that. Mine connected. That's from a mod, I'm pretty sure. And uh, there's, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we actually have some dead animals. Extract bone marrow? Why? Crack open bones to get the marrow inside. Um, I guess it's delicious. Butcher creature do forever. Somebody make some food. Oh, there's the bones. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Victorian. Well, I figured out how to get bones. You just suck them out of animals. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do things with those. And I need, I need someone to work the mines. If you're not doing anything, go mine. Cause I don't have a stove yet. Thanks, two dog. Your pal. Also, everybody else. Because I, I, right now they're just eating raw meat, which is not ideal. Get some of that up, and then we'll be okay. We'll have to make sure we actually get our shed rebuilt as we go. Somebody build the thingy. Oh, what happened to Jed? He, someone punched him in the face. A chinchilla beat up my cat? Excuse me? Baking powder? How? How? 
How did a chinchilla get the jump on my cat? It doesn't... It doesn't add up. The number... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, the cats are the most used... Oh my god, I know. Um, I think muffalos are my favorites. Muff buffaloes are amazing. Are not entertained. Uh, Johnny Hawk! Thanks for the follow. I don't know why I'm doing my announcer voice. A healer from the Coalition of Colmia is visiting Colony. He is named Cambier... Cambier Ferret. He may have a few items to trade. Hey, and he's not broken. Last RimWorld I, uh, game I did, all the traders were broken for a while. For some reason, this I had a, I had a mod to get saddle to put saddles in the game so I could ride animals, cook simple meal, do forever, and I uh, didn't like that. And something we're also oh, do I know how to make a passive cooler? I do. Passive cooler. What's the temperature actually like? Ah, it's actually super comfy for a swamp. It's 22 C. Eat the intruder. Cats have been killed by rats in this game, which is totally nonsense. Yeah, um, uh, I have a fun, I have a fun story. Um, I, it was a while. It was probably like a year or so ago. Also, who's the best talker? I guess it's me. Um, Magnus. Trade. Uh, it was it was whenever the Naked Br Brutality start came out, and I started. I tried Naked Brutality live on stream, and. Um, Within five minutes, I got a, a snake went mad, bit my person, the wound became infected, and I died. All right, so this person's selling joints. You know what I am going to buy? I'm going to overpay him for his two medicine. I'm going to give him my Pila. Every, every bit of medicines can be useful. So that was that was my introduction to the naked brutality start of the for the game. Immediately died to a snake bite. It was rather unfortunate, but at least we have a stove now, and uh, something else I should go ahead and do. Maybe not a campfire. Do I not have a? Was it under furniture? A torch. Let's let's get a little bit of light up in here. Okay, pews. I love it. Don't worry. We'll start. We'll start worshiping the the old one soon enough. Selling my dead cat. The cat's not dead yet. He'll 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 come. He'll be fine. That might increase. Oh, it's actually rather cool in there. All right. Since it looks like we'll be here for a while, Faycliff thinks you should give your faction a name. And we need a we name. We love you. Sure, yeah, baby. I know it. Wild man, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Orlando, and we need to um, we need to name the colony. Normally, I go with something easy: U Union of Magnus, East Magnu, West Magnu, Beningrad, something like that. Um. Oh God, what do we want to go with? What do we want to name it? I feel like that's important in this playthrough. The Cult of Disney. Um. Cult of Disney does sound... I'm liking that directionality. And... Adherence? Is that how you spell adherence? Adherence of Mickey? Malaria men? Cult of salt? Stranger! Ten months in a row! Thanks for the resub. Disney. Oh god, that's. Uh... There we go. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. I think that's a little on the nose. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't know if that's how you spell adherence, though. Legally distinct enough. Uh, let's, um, let's go ahead and Google the word adherence. Make sure I spell it right. No, I did! I, hey! I have Magnus get into English. We are now known as the adherents of Disney, and the community is known as Orlando. Gift from the Coalition of Colmia. What do they want to give me? A bone short bow. Well, I like where this is going. Is bone better or worse? Uh, let's see. I'm looking more at the damage, not melee. Penetration 16, range 23, damage 11. Damage 11, penetration, it's the same. It's the same as wood. It's the same. Okay. Well, I mean, I like how this is, go this is going so far. Just slowly move, you know what we should do? Is tell him to like, draw this all the way over. Uh, and then, uh, structure put a little put a little one of those in there make sure we can we'll probably end up turning this whole thing into storage area okay uh, that's a solid start we've got our barracks we've got our food area I think the next uh, best the, the, the next thing to spend our time on is going to be building a dining room okay uh, which would go right here, off of this. Um, so, let's see. Furniture, what kind of tables we got? We've got a pentagonal table. Probably, I, I, like, I like to use a nice, a, ni a, ni a nice long table. Yes, that is the mod list. Um, I think I changed one or two things when we were having a little bit of technical difficulties at the start of the stream, but it's mostly accurate. Uh, so we're gonna move that in one, move that up one. I could probably fit two of these in, no problem. Animal sleeping space. It's actually not a lot of mod, but uh, it's not a lot of mods by RimWorld standards. I, what I'm gonna do? We're gonna put that in. Right there. Uh, hey, that'd be a huge dining room. Chairs would go there. We want want to make sure there's room to walk around. Uh, actually, it's off by one. We want this to, so we need to cancel that one, cancel this one. I like to have a walking room for people to walk around. Beautiful. There, now I don't have to, well, I, I, well. Now as they're mining out the, the steel there, I don't have to worry. Dining room is next on the list of things to do. Ooh, ooh there's all those boars, poor Jed. Eh, he'll be okay. I'm gonna have to take down all these trees. And what I'm gonna do is also order them to start chopping down. Chopping down the trees in the general vicinity again. Mad tortoise! Oh no! What happened down here? Maybe that's where Jed had his fight. Uh, we're gonna have to take this. You know what? Let's assemble the crew. He's coming for us. Assemble, assemble. Oh no, uh, everything's in the way. You two off to the side. It's our first combat experience. All right, you guys all missed. <laughs> now it's the melee guy's turn. Coming close, just start whipping him. Oh, it's unconscious. Never mind. Thomas got him. What do you do to it? Oh, he stabbed it in the brain. He mangled. He literally mangled his brain. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, for the for the yeah. I know. Like when Midge played his Call of Cthulhu stuff, he was playing with a hundred and fifty. Um. Uh, I know Krusty, and I'm, I'm. And it's not just him. I know him and other people play with two or to three hundred mods at a time. I'm using about 20. 
Six by six is ideal for a bedroom. Also, you're a character. Yes, you are! Oh, this room needs doors! Uh, I wish I, you know what I really wish is I could have a boat, wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. That one right there. And I think what we'll end up doing is have one uh, down over here too. So there's a little bit more flow. Doors made out of bone. I'm I'm happy with that. We're gonna need a, a research bench at some point too, but it's not gonna. We, we're gonna need more room before we can do that. How much food do we got in here? Seven meals. Okay, that's that's fine for now. We don't have to do any more hunting for a day or two. Oh no, my fox got the crap kicked out of him. Oh no, they used my medicine. Ah, I forgot. Shoot. They used that medicine I overpaid for on the dead fox that got beat up by a rat. He got beat up by a rat. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Animal sleeping spot. We got three animals. Let them sleep inside. Shoot. And, uh... Might as well floor the place up as... Best we can for now. Well, we'll we'll check the stats on the bone doors after we get a couple of those out. But uh, I'm I'm rather happy with our start so far. What the shit? Touch it. I I don't I don't want to touch the monolith. Doom! Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I just have stools available, right? Yeah. We we don't need a lot. We only have five people. Let's build just a a, a nice symmetry of stools. Yeah, that what wasn't that was for? not there before. Do it. Just I forgot that that was a thing. Do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> oh. Do it! Alright, let's take a look at the bone, uh, the information on the bone door. Opening speed 120. It's the same as, it's the same stats as wood. What happened? Oh, we found this. Hey, Psychic Soothe. Every colonist of the male j Wait, are any of these girls? I didn't even look. Am I a woman? I'm a man. Faye Cliff is a woman. Thomas Rax is a woman. Two dogs a man. And Zate's a woman. Okay, three three women, two men. Well, that's, that's actually halfway... That's a decent dining room. I believe a decent dining room counts as a mood boost, doesn't it? Wait, wait, what? Why are me and Zate married? I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, no, this is fine. It, might, it doesn't look like it popped up uh, yet, though. That's fine. Thanks for getting me back into Kerbal again. There goes the rest of my summer. Yeah, it, yeah I've spent, what, I will, I've streamed it for, what, six, eight weeks now? Something like that? I've been, I've been playing it for quite a while. I still got stuff to do. I'll, all I've done is the moon, Minmus, and Duna. I got stuff to do. Oh yeah, and for anybody watching, exclamation point, join to join the queue for naming stuff. And uh, I'm also going to... Alright, and I should name... I always forget to name these as we go. I should definitely do that. So we're going to name this one um, Primary Stock. Beautiful. Zate, I don't know when we got married. 
but I'm a kind and gentle lover. Uh, let's see. And how's the food situation? We should do a little bit more hunting, but it's okay for now. How long do you think a rhino could feed, a, uh, like, a group of people? Oh, do we have, um, we have a little bit of, we have 122, we might be able to make some bedrolls. Yeah, we can make three bedrolls. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Can you name the animals? I don't think you can change the name of the animals, no. I think there's a mod for it, but we've got enough mods on right now. And those bones really pile up, don't they? Well, at least there's things to do with them. Two men are... No, Zate's the woman. Zate's the girl in the relationship. Zate's a woman. Uh, Thomas and Faithcliff are the females. I, I didn't even check genders before we started. What is this? Oh, that's... Bone... Ch These are all made out of bone, too. Does bone burn in this game? Flammability... Oh! No, that's beautiful. Bone is beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, take this down. Take that down as well. You know what? Let's deconstruct these uh, this stuff in the local area to use for building material. We're gonna, we're, yeah. Bone ash compressed into bricks. It's great, it's great. Hey, man, you guys are industrious. I love it. Well, when they don't have anything to do. Oh, whoa, whoa. Take those apart. Oh, and we need to eat somebody. Somebody needs to hunt something. You know what? Um, those chinchillas hurt my friends. And why don't we, uh, say two wild boar as well. There we go. What is this mod? Uh, I'm using a, um, a bunch of mods. About half the mods on that list there is, uh, just, like, little things that add functionality to the game. Um, and the other half are a bunch of Call of Cthulhu mods to, excuse me, to add unnamed horrors from beyond. Oh, our first raid. Vladislav's Tigers have arrived. Kim. Kim from Vladislav's Tigers. Just with a steel knife. Okay. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Those, uh, baneling things, the things that explode. The, uh, where are they? These guys, yeah. The boomalopes. They blow up if they die. Alright, everybody, um, get your, sh get your shit. We're going a murdering. Here we go, a murdering. A murdering today. We'll meet up over here and shoot, shoot the person. Alright, so what we gotta do, we, we form a firing line. And then we gotta send someone. Uh, Magnus is technically the better shot, so let's let's lure with Magnus. Fire! Oh, would you look at that? You know what, Zate? Why don't you uh, pop on up here too? Let's have a little fun. A new Total War title is coming later next year, named. Fall of the Samurai. There is literally already a game named that. Alright, fall back! You've done your duty! Trying to do this with the uh, least amount of damage. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stranger! Thanks for the cheer! <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, I don't exactly, I mean, that's not a bad person. Get, uh, hmm. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in a place to really help these, uh, you know, to, to, to really get these people, uh, you, you know, brought into the colony. I got five people, I'd really prefer to get a little bit more, you know, a little bit more set. 
before we start bringing in any fives fives a good a good bot a few oh there's that there's our first dead chinchilla oh you know what I can do I can hold these doors open just leave that one shut that'll uh, speed up movement time oh and that you just ate some raw chinchilla pin dick him to the monolith oh you know what we got alpaca over here Oh, they get is this bone as well? Bone crete wall. That's a concrete floor. Growing zones. Yeah. That should probably be the next thing on the list to do. I mean, there's a lot of meat around here, but winter is going to well, I almost said winter is coming. Oh, I don't want it. You're McQueen. You're McQueen. Touch the obelisk. Everybody wants me to touch the obelisk. I don't want to touch the obelisk. We'll touch it later. We'll touch the obelisk later. Also, we forgot to build those, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, brain fart. What are you waiting for? Do it! Sleepy bag. There it Just is. Do it! Yes, you can! You know, just you guys could do cook that meat. Just, just saying. Why does it? I don't. I don't want to touch the obelisk yet. I really don't want to touch it yet. Don't. We'll touch it eventually. Don't worry. We'll get there. Do not touch the first obelisk spotted. I don't know what it's going to do. Wait. Wait, I can uninstall it? <laughs> How about this? Just gonna, we'll just bring it inside. It's fine. more of these boars too wow it's made out of some really light material ain't it now do it investigate I think I I think that a good median zone is to just install it into my living room and then we'll investigate it later I was I assume they're just poking it through the roof. It's fine. I can I whoa. My wife's being lewd. Uh and that person just left it. What are you doing? Oh, are you uninstall are you investigating this? I didn't tell anybody to invest. What are you doing? Is he is he investigating that? What 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 is he we're Writing, writing it. Oh God, he's touching it. I have no, no strong, strong feelings, feelings one way or the other. other. Thanks, stranger. Oh God. Oh, I didn't want someone to actually touch it. What is that doing to your brain? So is that sanity loss? It's a trap. I have looked upon all that the universe has to hold of horror, and even the skies of... I can't read this. Uh, skies of sparring and the flowers of... Spring! Spring and the flowers of summer must <coughs> ever afterward be poison to me. Um... Thanks, <coughs> Hachi. I didn't actually want someone to touch it. Uninstall it. Uninstall it. Thomas, stop it. Uninstall the model. I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, Thomas touched it. His brain had an issue. A house servant named Jessie is crashing at a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she'll be badly wounded. Is not affiliated with a faction. Jessie. You got a pretty bad scratch. 
Uh, your eyeball got apparently just grazed with a bullet. Intellectual firefighting, crafting. I mean, it's a person. Uh, I think I think we'll send Zaid out to rescue Jesse here. Oh no. Uh oh. Thomas Rax has no memory of the writing that is still slightly dampened from the sweat of their labors. It is a ghastly book filled with strange alien language that is not readily understood. The ominous looking diagrams of ritual sacrifice and spells within the tome has some colonists unnerved by its occult nature, whereas others have postponed setting up a proper research center to further study the secrets held within. A grim war has been completed. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> Sanity loss, major. Acquired occult grimoire. Oh, and there it is. At first glance, the grimoire compels the viewer to halt their gate. Upon closer examination, the seals and clasps that hold the tome tightly closed become like a boggling puzzle to a starved intellectual. What secrets could it possess? No. What power? All right. Well, I mean, oh, I don't know. No, we need to get basics down first. Time to build the chapel. Did someone treat Jesse? Uh, just don't use the good stuff. Two dog. Please and thank you. And I like I like we're having a party to celebrate our monolith and our grimoire. Hey, Zate and Unknown have a thingy. Uh oh no. Damn it. Thomas Rax to each the reach the biological age of 54, unfortunately, gained the following diseases due to aging. Bad back. That is horrible. I specifically did not pick anyone with a bad back because it's terrible. Alright, so now you have a messed up brain and a fucked up back. This is fine. Solve all my problems with magic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesse joined! Ah, <laughs> that means we get to pick a doodle. All right, who's Jesse? Just Justin Doctor. Uh, where is uh, the button for renaming again? Am I blind? Their button free naming. Why am I why am I blind? I've Bison and Bio. Ah, there it is. There we are. Title is House Sir. You know what we're gonna do? Nah, now we have a designated janitor. Someone bring my grimoire inside. Uh, it, oh, it doesn't. It 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 doesn't um, like rot. Interesting. Okay. All right, this is fine. A uh, an actual designated like barracks might be a good idea too. Uh, maybe just extend out to the other side. Is that I'm thinking we do? Travelers, have you heard? The, have you heard about my grimoire? It's amazing. Also, uh, did you have any combat capability? Not really. Can you pick up like a bone or a stick or something? Or does that equip a bone? You could. 
You know what? There we go. It's fine. It's a terrible melee weapon. And, uh, yeah, definitely gonna need, um, some grow zone set up. Did they, did they actually deconstruct all those? Yeah, they actually did deconstruct, like, everything I wanted them to. Nothing, not, it doesn't, hasn't all gotten hauled yet, but that's okay. That leaves me building material to work with. A lot of marble blocks. So, uh, structure, and wall, marble. What I'm thinking we do is I can uh, build like an actual barracks over on this side here. Slash infirmary. Let's see, how, how wide should it be? It would be one, two, three, four, uh, four, five wide in the middle, I think. That's what I'd want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. Oh, and it's gonna need bridge. <laughs> There we go. Could get a shambler as a pet. Well, yeah, I, 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 a man can dream. Need the altar for decoration. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's moving that thing around. It's fine. Put another bone door in on this side. Make it symmetrical. So I'm thinking is we'll make this like part an infirmary, part of barracks, and then we could use this other area over here for um, a workshop. I've heard, well, we already licked the obelisk, and it's it it, it it Thomas it made Thomas go insane. I was just gonna bring it into my house, but apparently um, no, that didn't work. Out, didn't exactly work out as I had planned. There's some slight insanity. Can I do bone floors. Bone tile. I need a lot of bones to, to bone. Oh, what, what about bone floor? Beauty has no beauty, it looks like. What about bone tile? Beauty one. Bone china. That's beauty three. Hello, Penny. Aren't you a good dog? But you're a little wet because you've got a bath. Um... But wait, was there more bo bone floor blackened? I guess that's for flavor. I think I think the barracks will have a bone floor, just a regular bone floor for now. Fill that out. And we actually we got a couple meals for the next day or two. Next day, we got six people, two meals a day. Chest board, che oh yeah, like a checkerboard flooring. <laughs> Bone floor looks neutral. It's fine, it's fine. Well, eventually we'll, uh, I, I, I imagine we'll, you know, depending on the, Im oh God, that is disturbing. It's, it's just like throw bones onto the ground and then stomp on them. You can see like skulls and stuff in there. That was pretty cool. Hold that open too. That's that's slightly disturbing. And um Tom to start laying down some of these. Well that's gonna be in the way, isn't it? Yeah, just a couple for now. We have we have some light leather laying around. Oh yeah, we'll make a bone throne. How could how could you not? How could you not have a throne made out of bone? If it's an option, we're gonna do it. I just wanna kinda clear this out so I can um, move some other stuff in there. And we still have room in here. I think it's mostly cutting down the trees that are kind of getting in the way. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. I know there's problems. We have zero recreation. Here, let's put a hoop, a hoop diddly, and a board game on the floor. 
salt thrown. I, uh, I can make things out of bone. I can't make things out of salt. They're going to be sleeping on piles of bone. That's fine. Got sick from rat meat. We need to hunt some larger animals. It makes me nervous, though. Let's just tell him to hunt a bunch of boar. Man, I need more room in here already. Tell him to mine out the inside. Oh, they're making progress. Yeah, I know you guys are eating dangerous food types, but... Oh, and now you're barfing. Not ideal. We gotta, we have to finish the task. When will Justin get his realistic bone mask? <laughs> when there's time for crafting. Unfortunately, there's no time for that at the moment. Two dog is really slow. Oh, wait. Are you sick? Are you barfing? Yeah. Yeah, the barfing will do that. All these trees in the way definitely slow things down. If I put a little bit of like polished bonecrete flooring in or whatever that was. And then what we'll do is we'll start moving this stuff over. We'll move that stuff over. Thank you. Saint's like, I got this tree. This tree's my bitch. The obelisk of the shed. Yeah, just hanging out there casual like. How many people left to your selected? Uh, I, I don't I don't go in order. I, I pick randomly. Zate has fixated her rage on two dogs. She will follow two dog around hurling insults because of malnourishment. Well, I mean, I did tell people to go hunt a bunch of boar. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. The flash storm's at the beach. That's okay. This is fine. Oh, did you eat all of the... You ate all of the raw meat. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> uh, uh, the grass will burn out eventually. Doom! We'll just, we'll just keep it at bay. It'll burn out and the, 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 the flammable tear will burn out. It'll be okay. All right, the walls are frickin' done. Let's get that tree out of the way and we can roof it. Oh, it's gonna burn like all the way over this way. Yep, yeah, I know things are on fire. Shit happens. I'm kind of just, I'm letting them just take care of the home zone and just kind of like, oh no, oh no. It's creeping up the other direction, too. I need, like, a rain squall. Hi, Penny. I know you're damp. You gotta air dry. You gotta buy it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Look at this beautiful face. Look at your face. Penny wants up in my chair, but she's damp right now. Okay, this is fine. CK2 series coming up soon? Uh, yeah, actually, I was going to play a little bit tomorrow. I've got EU4 on the schedule, but I think what we're going to do, because I've got a succession game I'm supposed to be playing in, i got to fix that in. So we're going to do our, at least just do our succession series tomorrow. And then uh, I have a plan for my next, my next actual full run. Um, we're going to do a, because I, I haven't done it in like four or five years. We're going to do a, oh, rain. Yes. We're going we're, we're to be doing a Roman Hellenic Roman Restoration. Is the plan. 
Yeah, that was a heck of a flash fire. It hit, I mean, there was like one stray one way up there, and then there was one down here that actually set it on fire. They merged together and came towards me. Key wave's not that bad. Massive forest fire. Yes, there is. Heat wave, but I've seen worse. I mean, in, 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 until people start dying from the heat wave, it's not that bad. And, like, we can put in passive coolers to keep it down. Hey, Luggy Luke. Wish it would show Celsius and Fahrenheit. I tend to go with Celsius just because, mo like, the majority of my audience is European. What? Why is Eight so happy? Oh, Catharsis. Because he went on a, um, a fucking bender of insulting people. Oh, uh, look, seriously? Hit my bridge. Hit my bridge. All right, so hit the food, fooding. Um, now that there's a little bit more meat, we could probably set this up on bulk cooking. I haven't had it on bulk yet just because uh, there hasn't been a lot because if you, ne you need 40 meat, if you didn't have 40 meat, they wouldn't do anything with it. But I could probably uh, swap that for now because we do have a little bit more. An elephant. Yeah, I'm a little worried about. Uh, I, I feel like I would get really unlucky, and the um, the elephant, the, like the whole herd of elephants, would go mad and kill everybody. Oh, it is. It is warm. It's, uh. Let's get a couple passive coolers made on the inside. What is this? Pigskin. Sad Wanderer. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make it nicer in here. Peace talks. Peace is not something that's in my vocab. Yes. Mine this stuff out, and that'll allow me to give more stockpile room. We actually have some food. And, okay, the passive coolers are making a dent. But that's about the... J oh, wow. What, what was I saying? Eh, it's not that bad until it hits, like, 50. Research table and electricity. Oh, that's... Electricity is really far off. Um, a oh, occult research. But uh, electricity is... Here. That's, that's a ways off. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to hit expand zone. It's not an awful barracks. It's a mediocre barracks, although they might be talking about over... Oh, now it's decent. Zate's on a go frenzy, but that's okay. You still injured from that scratch? Okay, so maybe did that scratch like nearly goop out all of your organs? Maybe farm without our agriculture tech? Yes, you can. So I could set up some some agriculture, but I'm I'm not. Oh, it's just not a focus right now. We kind of finished this up. Um, we need to get more animal skins to get more of these down, it looks like. Um, I think I've got pig skin I could do it with. Because I want to get everybody in here on sleeping bags. Had a lot of bone. Alright, um... Oh, I've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of pig skin. Yeah, let's let's cancel these ones. I got pig skin coming out the wazoo. Oh, you know what else we could do? We could put a double in so me and Zate can at least um, sleep adjacent. You know, I don't think I don't think they'll people will you know uh, do the wing dang doodle unless they have a private room. 
But I think sleeping together at least is a step in the right direction. Oxygen not included or this. Um, I would say this is more worth... Both games are good, don't get me wrong. This game, I think, you'll because of um, what Zate said, um, you will get more probably bang for your buck. Like, I've got 1,200 hours on this game, and I still start up a new one and have a blast. Human flesh on the menu. Uh, I do have a mod installed that will... Oh, we got a mad tortoise. That will turn people cannibal if we eat the enough human Earl flesh. Hot. So it's possible. I already had my Earl Grey at the start while we were dealing with our technical issues. Stockpiled. I'm slowly expanding this so that they actually throw everything they need in there. All right, well, at least, I mean, it's relatively comfortable inside. Where they sleep, it's 25. All right, so this is going to be Magnus and Zate. And then what we'll do is all these I'll destroy. I don't need these here anymore. Magnus and Zate. Um, Thomas. Faye. Two dog. And Justin. And then these two can be medical. And, um... I think I'll just leave it dark in there for now and tell them to get that out of there. Oh, that reminds me. All urgently. All right, now at least nobody's sleeping on the floor. Prisoner area. I, I'm not too concerned with that just yet. I have a lot of other things that are more important, like a wooden simple research bench. Made out of bone. Because, why not? Big obelisk is in the middle of the stockpile. Well, wait, wait, wait. I brought it inside and <laughs> Thomas licked it and went insane. I mean, I like the aesthetic quality of bone. All right. B complex furniture, I think, and stone cutting are probably going to be important things to get up. Um, then smithing, and then probably electricity. But I'm gonna start with complex furniture. That'll get me better beds. Can I destroy it? I don't... I don't think so, and I'm not going to try. I think I hear a chinchilla or something going nuts. Is this the mad tortoise? That... that is the mad tortoise. Alright. Everybody... Go beat up the mad tortoise. All right. Uh, you got beat. All right, this is fine. For now, I'm going to make sure everybody is only using Medi uh, uh, doctor care only because I don't want to use I want to save those meds for when there's you know worse injuries Look at the bone action. Yeah, the, the bones seem to be wigging out a little bit uh, Which mod is that which you turn people into cannibal if they eat enough human meat? Uh, um, I see my mod list from in here Why is my resolution so weird? Uh, well, what we could do really quickly is save this, pop over to the main menu, bad people. Allows uh, pawns to become depraved or cannibals. They will. This will happen if pawns uh, participate in some actions like executing prisoners or eating lots of human flesh. There you go. Justin doesn't have a weapon. No. Bones. She's hitting people with bones. Although, you know, it was pretty crap. Probably do that. Right. 
get that get that beak uh, that, that beak hole fixed. I like how I could just make a fit. Oh, I need a little bit of gold to make a fancy, fancy telescope. Bone chair. Oh, I don't want to use that. It's like all my bone right now. There are no zombies. I'm not using the zombie mod. I have no, I, I, from what I've been told, the zombie mod is not very good. So I'm not using it. It, it, it doesn't, it's not going to really fit into a Call of Cthulhu mythos. So we're not going to be using that. The only intellectual is like Zate, and he's busy doing other things. I actually put this on for you as well. Okay. Do robots have bones? I don't think so. What is this? Will there be vampires? There are vampires, yes. The Blood Moon. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. It is the Blood Moon. This is fine. Blood for the Blood God! Blood for the Blood God! Blood this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. I have a lot of steel. The um the the vein that was right there is gonna last me a good long while. Bone doesn't burn, which is good to know. Phase name is red, kind of weird on the task screen. It's because they're injured. Faye got beat. That just signifies that the person has an injury. Oh, and look at this. They're almost done clearing out the stockpile. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Cool. Now, uh, grow zone. Okay, all this can be used. Uh, fertility is fine in this area, so I think what we'll do is um, get some small grow zones going down here. Here, let's start, like... I want to leave a little bit of room. Six by six is normal what I go with. So let's start with... I'm going to do four six by six zones. Potatoes are delicious. I'm going to put in some um, rice because it grows fast. Heel root, which I don't know if we actually have the um, skills for that. Coffee, bamboo, willow, maple. Oh, I don't even... Oh, there it is. No, some, somebody's got it. And, um... Hay grass, corn, barley. Um... Tea, grass, cotton. Cotton's useful. Coffee and tea is useful. Uh, you know what, I'll just put down another rice for now. This this blood mood thing is kind of freaking me out. Just a wee bit. Pork is rotted away in storage. Yeah, that's okay. I did tell them to hunt a lot of animals. Oh, shit. Grow some marijuana. Uh, no, that's not a priority right now. Oh no. Oh no. Ancient male deep one, age 802. I don't I don't feel good about that. Doom! It's a big nasty fish monster. Okay. He's Rather zippy. Alright, let's get out here. What if I worship you? Alright, I've got a I got a plan. We'll 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 guard the bridge.
Oh god, he's right fucking there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay, that first that first stab was real good. Everybody dog pile. Dog pile. Fish pile. Oh, okay. Those hits were good too. Oh, oh, I hope his flesh is delicious. Oh wow, he went down like a sack of bricks. Not not bad. He just bit my leg. No, 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 no. We're going to eat him. Don't you, where are you going, Magnus? He scared the crap out of me, but he was fine. Uh, Thomas got a little bit of a scratch to the leg there, but he's okay. And Zate's on the research table, finally. Uh, not bad. Not bad. A little bit of heat stroke because... Holy crap, it's 60 degrees outside. All right, let's see what we get out of this. All right, we got some deep hide. Some deep one meat. To dine upon deep one flesh is to experience something rigid and gelatinous simultaneously. As if ingesting rotting soft shell crabs dipped in petroleum oil. When consumed, deep one flesh will cause vague feelings of terror and unease. Well, can I cook it at least? Human meat's not on the menu. I think maybe you just eat it like that. All right, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't see any problems with this. And part of me, I am starving my face off right now, so I might dip into that sub my wife brought me off off to the side here because I'm hungry and it is like the smell keeps wafting over and thankfully I got the camera set up so it's off off to the side hang on oh. all right I apologize I hate eating on camera but I'm starving Oh yeah, and anybody who's watching, don't forget, I think this is the last day. Let me pull up the, the website. Humble Bundle. Best Paradox sale I've ever seen in the like five years I've been playing it. Bundles, Crusader Kings 2 bundle. 22 hours left on the Crusader Kings 2 bundle. You can buy CK2, all major DLC, for $15. For $15. Just turn off the face cam. No, I, I'm not gonna, like... Not gonna go crazy. I'll be okay. Kind of sub it. It is, um... Let's see. It is... Uh, chicken fingers and... Uh, mayo, honey mustard, chicken fingers, onion, lettuce. I think there's some pickle in there, too. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, colonists. The, the Humble Bundle right now is amazing is absolutely you know what i actually got a link for it too save you guys some hassle because i always got a link for this i got a link ready because that is amazing uh the that much um the game and that much dlc costs like 250 dollars regularly priced 15 bucks right now 15 oh the blood moon is passed 15 bucks amazing deal are you still injured I thought that was already tended. Okay, no, this is fine. Did we eat all the food or did it rot? I didn't see a rot thing, uh, but we'll have to just keep hunting every once in a while. Um, let's let's eat all the capybaras. They they don't really fight. They don't really fight back. So there you go. All right. Well, at least we got this started. 
Got a little, got a corner of bone wall there. Oh, uh, I was like, what are they doing over here? This is where all the capybara murdering is going to go on. This is fine. They deserve to be food. Oh my god. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Capybara revenge. Oh no, all of them are going nuts. Shit. I will go hunt these things because they're, oh god, Magnus is down. Oh my god, I got, oh no. I got downed horribly by giant rodents. Back on you boys. Oh no. Oh no. I literally just said, ah, just a bunch of big rats not gonna fight back. Oh, uh, why did I choose to go tribal? I like the tribal start because it gives me more playtime at the beginning. I like I like the gameplay to last a good long while and it gives me more playtime right at the top there. Alright, 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 everybody get into get into line. Here they come! Here they come, boys! Single column! Single column! We are as one! We also have to go save Magnus. Alright, you go help there. You go. You two go take this one out. Alright, that one's stunned. You fire at this one. Can't believe I got... I got I got downed by a capybara herd. Zate, you 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 you're not needed right now. Go rescue Magnus. Okay. Holy crap. I just got to get back before all my blood falls out. Oh no. Is this an Oh no, that's the same. I was like, did that one go nuts as well? Come on, Zate. Save my ass. And my face. Alright. How, 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 okay. I, okay, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everybody's fine. Um. Oh, Justin's a doctor. A better doctor. Uh, Justin. Ten to the Magnus. Wait, did I? What the fuck? Oh, someone else got injured. This is fine. We'll be in capybara meat for generations. For a week. Oh no, Judd's got the. F oh, excuse me. Flu. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is fine. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I don't know, without any medicine, I don't know how you're treating a flu on a cat. Well, I mean, even if you're treating a human. Okay, okay. Alright, this is fine. All we have to do is grow our blood, but either scoop it up off the ground and put it back in, or grow the blood back, and we'll be fine. My animals, if you got nearly killed by a tortoise. Are my animals, are my animals even worth keeping around? I don't want to get rid of them just because it would cause a mood break. Probably. A poor creature has been slain and left by the wayside. The mysterious death offers no witnesses. There's just a dead black cat over here. Okay, that's a little weird. No, this is fine. Stockpile zone. There we go. Uh, it's a little far away to go bother hauling off just for just for food purposes. And I wasn't planning on eating that many capybara right now, but I guess we'll just keep these around. We'll just it's it's food for a couple days at least. At least for a couple days. 
Definitely, especially a dead black cat, definitely not suspicious. Lizard skin? Where'd we get a lizard? A friendly AI from your past name, Charlon Whitestone, sent me a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you word of its coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. We'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence completes. See where on the map that is. Goal to escape again or different goal? I don't, I'm not, I haven't exactly um, uh, made a goal. I definitely want to visit the third, I, I've it, I've got this mental picture that my, my tribe was wiped out by the 13th Infantry Division. So I was thinking what would be a good thing would be to convert or murder the 13th Infantry Division and then, you know, spread the worship of the Great Old Ones. All right, so that's, that's where it is, Equator. And I am, I don't even know where I am. What the fuck is that? Black Town, Society of the Elder Things. There is an infantry division, ah, here it is. There's the 13th Infantry Division. I don't trust them. Oh, did I lose my, I lost my bow. But I'm still down from blood loss, so. Manhunting pack of rats. Eh, it's only four. It's okay. I thought that was good. I honestly thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it than it was. All right, one rat down. Two rats down. Oh my god! Thomas just got taken down by a rat. Nope, this is this is fine. This is fine. Um so oh god, rodents are like the bane of my existence. I got taken down by capybaras and rats. Not not good. Nope, you need to rest. And uh Justin, you're okay generally. Uh tend to Thomas here. Got a bunch of rat bites. The bad back probably didn't help, but also a rat biting his head and neck didn't help either. Wait, did I see a permanent capybara injury on somebody? Oh, that's not bad. Also, I do need more uh, medical... Medical sleeping bags. What is this, Oblivion? Oh, God. Man, I haven't played that in ages. Such a good game. Got a fair bit of bone laying around now. Capybara is like the size of a dog. Yeah, it, I mean they are pretty big. It's still a rodent though. I'm, I'm I'm talking down to them, trying to make them feel bad about themselves. Does this rot? It does. Oh, you didn't get treated yet. I think Thomas is the other doctor. No, two dog. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. And Magnus needs to go get his bow. He left it on the beach after getting downed by a bunch of giant rats. All right. So far, so good. We got some We got some stuff planted. I guess we're just going to leave this rat to uh, bleed out there. Ben has a floor made out of human bone. Whoa, whoa, you bone shaming me? What do we get? Is that food? Oh no, no, that's horrible. Oh, that's horrible. Why is there why is there a bunch of Labrador retriever meat? That is not what I want. I mean I will eat it. Mm-mm. Looks like meat back on the menu, boys. Something I want to point out. 
I w the entire time I played this game, I was under the impression that people would not have sex in a barracks with other people around. Oh, they will. Me and Zate totally just had sex in the barracks with everybody sleeping feet away. It's a mood boost, so. What, you four country are planning on playing? I was thinking of maybe doing Venice, because I did Venice in the CK2 or the EU4 multiplayer, and that was a lot of fun. I was trying to try it single player. Or maybe um, one of the like lesser Sunni nations, or maybe Central Africa. A lot of options. Seen the movie Enemy of the Gates? Oh, yeah, no, 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 you're right. I've seen that. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not a moaner then. Apparently we were both quiet enough not to wake anybody. Unless, hang on. Well, dis no, no, no. The disturbed sleep was not that recent. So we did not wake anybody. We did not wake up anybody. Okay, and Zate's got, he's, he's researching. Pretty good, pretty good. This is... All right, we got most of that planted, so it's growing. All right, I'm happy with that. And that rat still has not bled out. Oh, no, he's just in shock from horrible, horrible pain. Hey, I wonder if that, that's a way to keep the food fresh for a while. Just keep them in horrible pain. They'll stay alive for a bit. Oh, no. Wah, 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 what was that? Oh my god! Fake Cliff just ripped Zate's toe off. Well, that's unfortunate. And Zate bit Fake Cliff a bunch of times. Heard of the mod that uh, shall be named except with initials of RJW? Um. I ratted you out, uh, uh, you and Zade out to bitch. Oh my. RJW does not sound familiar? It doesn't ring a bell. This thing makes me nervous. Uh, but I know something else I'm going to do. Something I meant to do a little while ago, but we keep getting distracted. I want him to rip all these floors out, because I could use this all as building material. Oh, no, not that one, though. These I cannot use as building materials, so don't rip them up. Solar flare, that's fine. All the free building material I can get my hands on. No, I cannot deconstruct the obelisk. Okay, well, everybody would be fine right now if we hadn't gotten into, if two people hadn't gotten into a fist fight or a toe biting fight. Um, but so far, so good. I'll take it. I will, I will, I will take it. And our first research of complex furniture is nearly finished. I'm perfectly happy with that. Oh, we gotta take these down, too. Is that just, oh, that's just, oh, no. Fake Cliff has muscle parasites. It's not, it's, I don't think that's lethal, but, I mean, it, 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 it hurts, I believe. Yeah, pain. Pain and manipulate, pain up, manipulation down, moving down, tiredness. Yeah, basically means you're bedridden for a while. Mm. It's. I don't think that's lethal, but it's not ideal either. That's nice and cool inside, at least. A cobra is hunting somebody for food. All right. First person to kill the cobra. Oh. For a second there, I thought that said eye. I thought I thought I thought the cobra bit that person's eye, and I was about to flip the hell out. I was like, "Why was your eye right there?" You know, you know what? Uh, unforbid everything. Did do we ever find Magnus's? Yes, Magnus needs his his bow back. There we go.
All is well. I say that, but I don't I don't necessarily believe it. Also, there's a lot of monkeys on the map I might want to eat at some point. I mean, everything's growing. Looks like some of this area is a little less fertile. I mean, it all says fertile 100. Not sure why it would be. Oh, you know what? Yeah, the marshy soil. It says fertility 100. So I thought, but, but it's still slowing it down a little bit, it looks like. That's okay. As long as stuff's growing, I'm happy with it. The deep, no one ate the deep one meat. Do you have a good cooking skill? Um, I don't think so. Cooking six. It's not bad. Fake Cliff is the best with ten. No, I should have Fake Cliff doing the cooking. I definitely should have the best cook doing the cooking. Yeah, the deep one meat rotted away. All right, so. Not bad so far. I think one of the next things I would want to get going is start having bedrooms assigned. Bedrooms take a fair bit of work to, um, to construct, especially in this environment. But it would make everybody happier. Laboratory. So that's technically a laboratory right now. Uh, floors, roof floor, put that up. And that way we can rip up all these bits. Use them for construction, repurpose it for as construction material. All that steel, all this bone ash, limestone. That way I have things to build with. Look at all that bone ash we got. Let's see, uh, structure. Let's see, bone wall. Not beautiful. Bone crete wall. Also not beautiful. Bone china. Super beautiful. And we have a bunch of this. So we're going to we're going to start building some bedrooms out of bone china. Uh, do I not have bone china? No, I just have bone ash. Oh. Oh wait. No, oh, no, no, no. I am good to go. Uh it's just the the uh the area needs to be um uh bridged bridged up. Oh yeah, it's like all crap. Alrighty. So we'll we'll start with just laying down a bunch of that. Hello Penelope, who's a good girl? Bone shine. I think it's just like um it's like fancy bone, like if it's been processed. You're a good dog, Penny. Did you bite your tail again? You're, you've been biting your tail. You have, you bad dog. You're such a good dog. But don't bite your tail. You're tearing your own fur out. A lot of bone to work with, too. All right, we're making progress, though. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. You're so silly. Google Bone China, it's there. Oh, is it actually a thing? Oh my. Penny, I would love to have you hop up in my lap, but you're still damp from your bath. Yeah, so that was just some problems with the uh, the flooring in here. Oh, and now you're shedding everywhere. I'm gonna need to brush you. Yes, I am. You big... Oh, I know, you're so precious. You gotta make sure your ears get all dry so you don't get an ear infection. Do you want you do want me to scritch your ear? Hang on, let me see. She's she her face is right down here. Yeah, she's right there. Failed while constructing a bridge. This is fine. Uh, so I think we just start here. And generally, what I do one, two, three, four, five wide. So we want to go one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Is that what I do? That seems big. Do I go five wide? I thought I went five wide and six deep. So that would mean the wall would have... That seems like a very large bedroom. Budget. And we need bridges all the way out that way too, so there we go. 
Oh, everybody's having a party now? Why? Jet's injured again? Oh, the flu. And the, oh, old rat bites. Jed. Also, what did, um, how oh, the deer skull mask. Psychic sen sensitivity, minus 10%. Pain shock threshold, up 10%. Okay, interesting. Can you use the barracks for the church? Oh, eventually, yes. It's already got bone all over the place. Usually make your rooms four by four, but those are, yeah, that's a little too small. I think I used to do five by five, and then I changed it to five by six just because I liked the look of the rectangular bedroom a little bit more. Hunt more? Um, uh, yeah, probably. Looks like maybe uh, monkeys. Cassowaries can, oh, here, we got some boar. More boar. We'll go ahead and do that. Excellent, excellent. Actually making some progress. It's going better than I expected. Is that a rotten cat? It is. Cocoons? Uh, allow rotten. No, there we go. These are gonna be, these walls are beautiful. Also, we're gonna need a floor up in here. Let's see, uh, I think I got, I think I got some stone laying around. That's bone ash. That's bone crete. Oh, down here, I've got marble. Oh, but you know what? I can't, I don't know how to make marble floors yet, do I? Tortoise revenge? Oh! My my fox is trying to eat a, a tortoise. All right, you're on your own. She's on that. My 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 pet fox is on her own. My pets are useless. Oh, she's gonna die to- wait, no, she, 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 wait, wait, I think, I think the fox, I think it's down. Ah, yes. Tastes like victory. Expand the stockpile. Um, well, no, the stockpile's okay right now. It's not full. And yeah, we definitely need people hunting. Should be Magnus out there right now hunting. Don't hit the boomalo. Do actually hit the target. Oh, thank you. Say, do actually hit the target you're shooting at, but don't hit the boom low. Yeah. Because we're in a swamp, getting all this stuff out of the way. It's going to take quite a while to clear out space. Tame the pets and make an animal fighting arena. <laughs> did this thing get tended? I think it looks like it did. My, my animals are constantly getting killed by, like, small... Or getting huge... Um, injuries from like critters. Hmm. Oh my god. A medieval doctor named Vladislav is crashing. He's from the 13th Infantry Division. Oh, you are like nearly dead. And you are a shit doctor. And he's a cannibal. Um. But he's, you know what? I don't like him. He's incapable of dumb labor. You know, no, no, just let him bleed out. Just let him bleed out. I don't need him. I don't want, I don't, I don't really want to expand the size of the colony until we got refrigeration anyway. Just gonna let them bleed out. I don't even train my animals anymore. Do they get trained? Technically, uh, Chow here is the best animal I got because Chow is capable of hauling. Eat him. I, I don't think any. I don't think any of my current people are cannibals yet. 
I mean, we can get there. Oh, you know what? Magnus is a wimp. That's why he went down so fast. He's a wimp. Eat him. Why? No, I wasn't planning on going cannibal. I mean, yet. We, there's food. We don't need to eat anybody yet. Yeah, we'll just throw. Let let him. Here, here. You know what? Um. Uh, Forbidden Knowledge Center. You know, let's just uh. Gotta find somebody place to put a mass grave. Here, let's put a mass grave across or over there. And Magnus and Zayd are getting it on again. Not bad. I really wanted to finish this room. It's just, it's a lot of work. Clearing this many large trees. Married to a wimp? Yeah, apparently. Hey, oh no! I didn't even think about that. I don't think I have a, a mod that has fences. Um... Zayt, do me a favor. Drive them off. Yeah, eat the human. Where the fuck's Magnus? Why are you over there? I, to I thought I told you to get in get over here. Looks like me. Back on the menu, boys. <laughs> I'm surprised it oh. Oh oh no. Did they all go nuts? Or just the one? Just the one. Oh no. I mean this thing is really injured. Oh okay, stop shooting it. Stop shooting it. Stop shooting it. Stop shooting it. Holy crap. I thought they all went mad. That could have been horrible. Hmm. Food and tusks. We can use those as weapons. Oh my god. That is so much meat. We got tusks out of that, right? Oh, you know, I didn't I, I I didn't check if that was a male or a female. You're right. That's just some uh steel. That's fine. Well, at least we're back onto the bedroom. Slowly slowly getting to where we need to be. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the wall would be here, like that. There we go. This is this is fine. It's fine. That I mean, hunting an elephant with bow and arrow seems like a dangerous task, but uh, we did it. The dynamic duo of 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 hunting couples. That's a lot of meat. That's gonna. There we're just no way we're gonna eat through all that. Just let, let's make sure that nobody's set to hunt anything else. Good. Yeah, no, I don't have any um, preservatives for uh, meats in the current mods. That's some elephant skin out of it too, though, right? That's chinchilla fur. It's in here somewhere. Is that it? elephant leather. Quite tough. It is a poor insulator. Okay, so. Uh, cut, cut the plants that are in here. We know those are gonna have to go. The walls, we can continue. There's just one little spot missing there. Uh, doors. Gonna need a door in here, obviously. Bone door. Did Zate? Fi oh, Zate hasn't finished his research yet. Damn it. Zate, Zate, where are you? 
Research is a long-term task. Damn it. I wanted him to finish that. But I mean, like, look, that that's an enclosed room, nearly. It's a step in the right direction. Oh, uh, haul that stuff out. Good. Hey, Beatman. Takes a long time to do any construction tasks in this uh, swamp, but that's okay. Also, uh, oh, someone ate that guy's head off. Don't know who. God damn elephants. All right, I'm gonna need to, um... Oh, I gotta build so much, so much bridge. All right, all right, all right. Make sure all this is handled. I'm gonna, I gotta build a fence around this. The mod that makes tribal advance to a new age when they research an entire stone age tree. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. I mean, I, I have played with um, the medieval mod, but I didn't really like it that much. I, I didn't really feel, it didn't do what I was anticipating it would do. So I, I'm not using the medieval mod if that's the one you're talking about. All right, they actually cleared it out in there. Beautiful. I mean, technically I can do this, right? Yeah. Oop. Cancel that one, though. And then this needs to be reinstalled in here. And I am going to put in a little torch. Right there. Do I have any other... I don't have anything. Uh, okay. It'll have to do for now. I gotta build a fence around this. Keep the, because they're eating all my rice. This is actually almost done. Oh yay, I have a tortoise. Good, you're gonna self tape me an elephant or something. That would've been amazing. But that, it, that should be a rather nice room once we're done. There's one where the tribal's research level advances to the Bronze Age, and later when they research each age uh, in the tech tree. I, I'm not. I don't know what mod you're talking about. It does. It's not one I'm familiar with, at least. Rat meat is rotted away in storage. Well, a lot of this is. I, I mean, all right. The one. The one good thing is that they will be fed for the next couple days, at least, without having to worry about it. Uh, please and thank you. I would like someone to go ahead and do this. So at least get these guys out of the barracks and give them their own room. We're going to have to build a little f uh, wall around there. All right, so that ca qualifies as a decent bedroom for two people. Well, wait, 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 wait. We actually have to assign people to it. Because when we they, it was unassigned when we uh, moved it. Assign, assign. There we go. All right, Magnus and Zeke get a private room, so now they can, um, they don't have to be quiet. What's up? You're already in trouble with Midgey. Why, what, 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 what? I already told on Midgey. You told? I told Midgey on you. Oh, no. You That's only half of it, and I've only eaten, like, three bites. What do you think? That's delicious. Thank you. Hey, we finished our rice. Beautiful. And look at that bone, bone tile flooring. Slightly impressive. He was playing this mod because I don't get it. Uh, it's a bunch of mods, and it adds um all tons of stuff from Call of Cthulhu in. Wait, I thought like Call of Cthulhu was like Call, D and D. Well, Cthulhu, uh, like the Cthulhu Mythos is just a collection of stories written by H.P. Lovecraft. So it's just like an overarching like it's like the Marvel Cinematic Universe of short stories. Only, you know, not total shit. I can see why you like this. Hi, Penelope. 
All right, so uh, we've got a bedroom. A somewhat impressive bedroom for Magnus and Zate. Now, do they have the mood boost from that yet? Opinion of my husband. Got some loving, attended a party, decent dining room. Not in there yet, so they probably have to sleep in it before they actually get credit. Uh, can I not build a bone wall on top of this? Can I, I have to build a regular wall on top of it, don't I? Well, that's sad. I wanted a cool bone wall. All right, this is fine. Uh, I'll just go with wood and f just do a fence. Lame. There we are. Sleeping elephants. Well, you I don't, were you here when I was murdering an elephant a hot second ago because it was eating all my rice? Oh, now they're sleeping in there. Good. Do we still have wood laying around? Uh, yeah, we do. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, um, before I forget. Ignore roof area. Remove roof area? There we go. Make sure they don't actually roof this over, because I just need a fence. It doesn't need a it doesn't need a thingy. And uh Make sure there's doors too. I like symmetry. The bone walls are, are they tough? No, they're not even, I think they're just like decoration really. They're heavy, they're not very tough. They're not good. Wood around the crops, never gonna backward. I just, I don't wanna use any, I don't wanna use the other, I, I have a finite supply of building material. I wanna make sure I'm using it for buildings. All right, first bedroom complete. Excellent, excellent. All right, no more elephants eating my shit. All right, Fake Cliff, what's your problem? Serious pain, greedy for impressive bedroom, observed a rotting corpse. I ooh, right, rotting corpse. Can the bridge burn with a wall on it? I'm pretty sure it can. Greedy for an impressive, impressive bedroom. Well, I mean, I can't get you an impressive bedroom right now. It's just not, it's not on the list of things to do. The bone wall does have less flammability. I'm pretty sure it's zero. Yep. We actually have idle colonists. Wait, someone, why, don't we have a trainer, a handler? Oh, it's Zate. Of course it's Zate. Magnus, uh, why don't you, why don't you do that too? You either kill the animals or train them. Also, I forgot, animals, tortoise. I'm not keeping that around. Not keeping that, that's a lot of monkeys. Hey, complex furniture finished, woo! All right, um, stone cutting, that's the next thing on the list to do. That also means we can have someone build a bed out of bone china. Zate's the best constructor, right? 10. Alrighty. I think we should try to make another bedroom for Faycliff because Faycliff is a kind of a pansy about it. Kill all the monkeys. I don't need food right now. I'm not giving you my, <laughs> you got, you get your own dinner, Petty. I'm not giving you my dinner. Oh, normal. How beautiful. 10, aw, 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 aw. That's pathetic. Uh, it's still better than sleeping in a sleeping bag. Is this the same as before? Oh my God. All righty then. I've never seen a jade meteorite before. I don't need that right now, but we'll, we'll well we could use it later. We could utilize it. We can definitely utilize that later. 
Alrighty, well, um... Balls. Eventually what we'll do is we will, um... Bones, uh, orders, chop, wood. Eventually what we'll do is we'll build the, um, the moisture, like, evaporators or whatever, the moisture sucker thingies, and we'll, we'll, we'll drain the swamp. Eventually. Ah, uh, that's not right. Uh, uninstall this. Move this over to the side. Thank you. And then reassign that to Magnus and Zate. And, well, it's still bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. I will take it. It's a bed. I'm loving making everything out of bone. No, we don't want that. We want to build copy. We want it right there. And then it would have to go right there to be the correct size. And then again, we're missing a few. There's several, several more steps into getting uh, any construction done when you're in a swamp. And this is a hideous, hideous fence. But at least a fraction of it doesn't burn. See ya, Booga. Thanks for coming by. Well, at least we're getting some work done. Uh, Fay Cliff will be the, I mean, I don't know if I can get Fay Cliff a, a impressive bedroom, but we'll try. That's a nearly complete bedroom again. Sweet. Holy balls, is it hot in there though? Well, it is open to the outside because I accidentally held that door open. Also, it doesn't have a, um, the passive coolers anywhere. Uh, we could always put in a vent. That'll do it. Uh, also, I want to check. Those are plus three tiles on the floor there. Uh, I might have enough. I think I do have enough to actually um, bone china up the floor in here. There's not much many sections that can accept it, but the ones that can will take. Boom. Really weak walls, 175. Marble is, I think, the weakest stone wall. That's 420. Granite, it's nearly 600. Arizona's heat is worse than a tropical swamp. Yeah, I've I've been in both types of heat. I've been in, you know, like 120 degrees in the in the you know in the middle of the desert. And I've been in 110, you know, in, in swampy Florida. I'll take the dry heat over the wet heat every day of the week. Dry heat is much more tolerable. The humidity is just awful. Just awful. Fake lift. That's somewhat impressive. Don't complain. Do I, can, do I have access to vents? I do. So we'll vent them. There we go. Think anyone would take a dry heat over humidity? Yeah, I, I think so too. Florida is freaking awful. How are the rest of the crops? Eh, they're coming along. Mostly interested in these. Getting some actual heel root up. Okay, so now if we go to fake lift, well, we probably have to wait a day. Oh no, it immediately fell off. Okay, good. That was, wait, is that the right size? That is the right size. For some reason, I don't know why, for a second there it looked like it was too wide. <laughs> Here you fucking through the vents. I don't know, I mean, I imagine it would, maybe, depending on the loudness. One, one would imagine. But it's, uh, it's, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Zate is working on stone cutting. And then from there, we might just, I might just skip up to electricity just so I can get a cooler built. I mean, the colonists a vampire? Not that I'm aware of. I'm not aware of any vampires in the colony yet. Yes, Petty, you are, you've got a very big floofy butt. You've got the floofiest booty.
Penny knows that there's a she she can smell I'm sure she can smell it you know more than I can with her puppy schnoz but you know I got that sub right over there on the desk so she's sitting next to me going like staring up at me going oh, oh. all right Penny what if what if I gave you just one little tiny piece of chicken because I gotta take a quick break anyway so hang on hang on guys Penny over here. Penny, you gotta come over here. That, yo, oh, you are. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. You wait for me. You don't. You have to wait for food. You can't just take it. All right, Penny, you could have one piece of chicken out of the sub. But you have to be cute. No, no, no. Oh, she smells it. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. I'm sorry, Penny. It was on the floor, but I think that's okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. You stay here. I will be right back, okay, Penny? Although, I am going to move this sub somewhere where you can't get it with your puppy face. You stay there. We're back. And this is actually a dog treat. <laughs> well, we'll finish that one and then you'll have this one. Good girl. Good dog. Good doggo. That's a good doggo. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She wants to, she wants to lick my face. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> good dog. She's still floofy, but she's not as damp from the bath. Yeah. Now, now I don't mind you sitting in my chair because you're. You're mostly dried off, so you're not going to get it all damp. You're not going to get it all damp. Although, I am going to need to dry behind your ears here. We can't have dry, wet ear tufts. That's not appropriate. Yes. We've got some doggo here. Yeah. Oh, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? She's trying to lick my face. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the best scritch spot right there. You want to hold my hand? You don't want to hold my hand today? That's okay. You want to blood for the blood god? Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! I'm sitting in the chair now. It's a good dog. It's a good doggo. Good doggo. Okay. Penny, can I have my chair back now? Thank you. <laughs> Pet me servant, yes. Exactly. Oh, now she's just standing here staring at me. Well, um, I think it was a good idea to give uh, Faye Cliff here the second bedroom because she uh she does not have that terrible um modifier of you know greedy for for impressive bedroom and oh impressive wait does that actually count as impressive slightly impressive i guess counts as impressive good good excellent i'm actually pretty happy with this colony it's been smoother than i anticipated it's been far smoother than i've anticipated Oh god, again? I couldn't have gotten a dog or something as a pet? I've got this stupid fox. 
Who's just slowly... Oh, God. Right eye bitten out, jaw shattered, tail bitten off, right left paw bitten off. You couldn't just go eat a rat or a chinchilla. Oh, wait, no, it fought a chinchilla and almost died, too. <laughs> You're off. Thanks for coming by, Fakeliff. I will try to not get you killed, and hopefully you won't have any mantle breaks now that you've got a nice um, bedroom here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Penny just made like a real sad noise. She's under my chair right now. She just made like a real sad puppy noise. Oh, it's okay, sweet pie. What? what was that? Mist. An oppressive fog has rolled in. Thick, steady, and sinister in its approach. Stepping foot within may dislodge lesser minds into spaces between spaces. Oh, uh, what? Ah, uh -huh. something in the mist. I felt something watching me in the mist. Was it real? Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's like a little mist effect like all over the place. Why is she upset? She's probably upset because I asked her to step out of my chair. <laughs> or she might just not like that she's still damp right now. She hates it when she's damp. Uh, how much of that bone do I... Uh, the bone crate... There's a little bit of bone crate left. I got two bedroom... Two somewhat impressive bedrooms up with the bone crate I had just from disassembled elsewhere things. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. We got a full moon approaching while we've got the weird mist here. Stephen King, everybody. Uh, I actually liked the, uh, the Mist. I thought it was a pretty good movie. If you watch The Mist, watch it in black and white. Oh, no. There's like, oh, there's like ghosts in the doodle. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big mist. The movie's a much better watch if you watch it in black and white. One hand for playing the game, one hand for petting the pooch's butt. Oh, uh, yeah, it's creepy out here. That is creepifying. Penelope, you need so much attention. I'm streaming right now, pooch. It's slowly making its way to the base. Oh, everybody's in a horrible mood now. Wait, really? I mean, it's... It's not that bad. It's only minus 10. Stone cutting finished! Oh, okay. Okay. What's complex clothing? Oh, I know what con... Oh, complex clothing would be good. Don't go outside. Should I keep them inside? Oh, you know what? That means we gotta set up some zones. Area one. We gotta keep them. If we gotta keep them inside, we gotta keep them inside. And uh, let's see. Let's rename this to inside. Uh, sign, outfit, restrict. Oh, it's trying to get in. Think you could do me a favor and take that bad boy out? This is the this is the angry one, right? Stabbed it in the head. We got this. I believe in you. Maybe. Why are tortoises so deadly? The tortoises are awful. I feel like you should be able to take it. Okay, you're okay. Don't go outside. Don't go outside. If you can't go outside, don't. Know how to go outside? Don't go outside. 
There's things in the mist. Where are you going? Fleeing? You killed the bad thing! You killed the baddie! You're fine. Oh yeah, Mist Stalker. Age one quadrum. Uh, oh my. Technically it looks like you could you could attack them or something. Yeah, they're out there. Wait, is there another one? Oh wait, are they all? Oh, you know what? It's probably everyone on all the tortoises on the map is what it was, wasn't it? It it wasn't that one, it was all of the tortoises. Um, well, what can we do while we're inside? I could put a, I, I could put a, uh, stone cutter's table up. It's not going to fit anywhere in here. Oh god. How long does this last? It's been it's been here for 20 hours. Uh research. Yeah, we already got someone researching. The mist Oh wait, we're fine. Never mind. It lasted for like a day. We're okay. This is fine. Corridors to connect the buildings. Oh shit, wait, but there's angry turtles. Angry tortoises. Everybody, prepare your butts. We got this. Right? Come on, guys. Come on. You know what? You two? Can't hit a tortoise. We'll just beat it. <laughs> Alligator snapping turtles. That would make sense if for, you know, in terms of injuring people. That would make perfect sense. Well, I mean, I guess we could at least get this uh, this thing on. Bills, add bill, uh, make stone blocks, do forever. Everybody's already set to craft four, so if they've got nothing to do, they'll make stone blocks. Beautiful. Everybody get tre treated? Faycliff, you've got an infection from a tortoise bite. Uh Go get the medicine. A magnificently powerful vampire's tomb has been discovered. Dare we confront the creature? That is not far. Reward bamboo plate armor masterwork. That does not seem worth taking down a vampire for. Well, severe sanity loss. Oh no. And muscle parasites. And an infected wound. It's just great. It's just great. That's not what you want to see. Although potatoes is what you want to see. Um, yeah, uh, the potatoes will last longer in their raw form, so don't cook them unless you gotta. Still losing the mind. Yep. Yep. Stay in bed. I mean, with the, with the right treatment, it looks like we'll be okay. That immunity is going up pretty fast. 
stick them in a stew. Boil them, poach them, stick them in a stew. How many bones I got now? A thousand. Alright, so in terms of flooring... I can do tiles now. That's good. Oh, that's actually really good. Uh, I got a lot of marble laying around, don't I? Because what I can do... Is... Lay down, like, replace most of this with marble tile. That'll make a nicer, um... What's it called here? A digger is passing by. His name's Red Trogo. That's fine. Do you like bone furniture? I make some bone thrones. Here, let's make a bone ch Let's make a pair of bone chairs. See how people like that. And we're working on... We're, yeah, we're going to do complex clothing, start getting them actually wearing, you know, clothes, um, and then probably electricity so that I can actually store the food. That, oh, and we actually, actually, we actually, 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 we actually have some heel root nearly done. Bone chair. Beauty, one. Is it comfortable at least? A little. It's only normal quality. You know, you really start stacking up the beauty and stuff when you get to like legendary and masterwork. I'm getting it. I think it goes to slightly impressive at what, above 50? Me mediocre. Decent. Slightly impressive. Slightly impressive will have to do. Magnus is in his salt throne. Alright, this one's good. Beauty 2. Wow. Ah. Oh, there's some thromboses here, but I don't really think they're on the list of things to kill at the moment. I don't think I can handle those. Sanity loss, major. How's that, um... So, I wonder, how do we lose sanity? Just out of curiosity. How's that infection, by the way? You'll be okay. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know how that works. Masterwork salt thrown in a bone sculpture to go with it? Ideally, yes. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. Nice progress on the base, though. Got a little farming area, our storage area, and our main base. Bedrooms, infirmary slash barracks. We've got a somewhat impressive... or. Mm, decent, uh, technically. Dining room. A little research area. This is fine. All is well. Oh, wow. Look at all those components. That, that'll be useful later. Lots of components. I do want to go see a vampire, but I have no faith that my people would be able to assault a vampire's, like, stronghold and not just be horribly mauled. These are rather, uh, uh, you know, they look kind of cool, but, like, is it, is it, I guess it's slightly more beauty than just a regular stool. Hmm. Yeah, the stool's nothing. It's a lot of material, though. Room world again? Ah, yeah. Hey, KJ, we are. With a bunch of Call of Cthulhu mods installed. Hey, we actually finished... Oh, no. Poor mood because you're sick. You're not sick anymore. Oh, you still got muscle parasites. Never mind. And you, your sanity is... Yeah. Is, is iffy at best. Seriously, what do I do with my... Uh, the Grimoire of the Occult. How big is this uh, occult research station? It's, it's the same size as this. All right, no, this is fine. All right, so I think what we need to—I think what we need to do now is just keep improving the base until we've got the electricity done. We're gonna do the complex clothing, then we're gonna have our crafters make a bunch of clothes, and 
Uh, so, you know, they're not just wearing rags. And then we'll work on electricity. That's the plan. Hey, Jay, this mod is, t like, I got this thing, and someone licked it, and then they went mildly insane, and they wrote a book. And it makes me nervous. Do I have the factions, too? I do. Have you had a medic uh, botched a infection treatment? Oh, uh, yeah, I've definitely had that happen. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think one of my best medical experiences was when I, uh, I had a, at a, at a decent sized colony, I want to say like 12 to 14 people, and I had a doctor with like 18 skill level. He was an amazing doctor. Then one day when he was sleeping, a, a power conduit in the wall behind his bed exploded and shredded his organs and he died. So, you know, this is fine. It was just, it was just so unlucky that my only doctor had an explosion go off randomly next to him, and it managed to kill him. It was not ideal. Alright, you're fine. The Bone Thrones do look nice, though. I'll say that. No complaints there. Do I have anything, can I make anything else out of bone? Prayer pillow. Oh, I need cloth for that. Pews. I need pews. How big's the round table? It's tiny. Uh, r wait. Double royal coffin. Oh my god, I love it. You can make a double coffin so you can sleep with your loved ones forever. It's great. That's beautiful. That, that's, that's, that's glorious. I mean, the, the potatoes and the rice are staggered pretty nicely. I haven't actually had to go... I mean, I did eat an elephant, so... There, there was that. I could work on another bedroom while we wait for Zate. What's his research skill at? Let's take... Oh, you know what? Um, let's give him a comfy chair. What do we got? I need uh, 110 of something, so... We do uh, just light leather, I guess. Just make him a nice leather chair. And isn't Zate the best constructor as well? 11, 8, 7. Okay, so Zate, go make your go make your own damn self a chair, I guess. Vampire. Oh, vampire bed. Yeah, that's a good point. That's what it could be. It could be a bed for a vampire. Oh, you know what? I just realized the lizard skin is from the tortoises. I thought they would go to light leather, but apparently it's lizard skin. <laughs> and how'd you do? Best piece of furniture we got in the place. Good job. Oh, his intellectual went, already went up several levels already, and it's almost level 9. Alright, we're making better progress now. Like, he's almost level 9. We, I wonder if he'll get there tonight. Nope. Okay, he'll get there tomorrow. Build board with bones. Oh, I know it's I know it's vulnerable right now. Right now, but con considering the resources I had at hand, uh, that's generally the way I work. Is I'll build quickly to get the mood buffs, and then I'll replace as I go with other stuff. Which is why only like the central area and like some of the original structures are wood, and then as you go out, it's stone. Just replacing everything as we go. Um, most, I, I do have access to my own stone production, though, which is good now. Everything I had before was from all the stru- well, I mean, I'm, tr I'm I'm going around and trying to show you- oh yeah, here's some more. I disassembled structures. Would be good to replace the exterior wall. Um, got a little bit of a couple things. Here, why don't we go ahead and do- it? just do that exterior wall there. Let's do that. That way, like, exterior fires, we'll do, we'll do just to this section right here, and we'll use granite. Oh, don't cancel that. Although, actually, hang on, that reminds me. Never actually claimed that. All right. There we go. Place that exterior wall with a little bit of granite. That's good. It's also more beautiful. 
total slight mood buff. Very slight, but that's okay. And any any mood buff, especially you know once that early game, I can't I can't remember optimism. I think is what it's called. That early game optimism. Once that wears off, yeah, really useful. And you know what I can do? Um, do I have a little bit extra? I do. Let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit. Give myself some more room there. And then what we could do is um, take this one out. Give myself a little more room to work with. Plus eight is almost, almost finished with complex clothing. So what I want to do is down here. Uh, floors. Marble, granite, not granite. Yeah, no granite. I just want it to match. Um, production. As soon as he's done with that, we'll put the uh, the tailor's bench down there, and we'll have someone start making some clothing for these guys to wear. Some real clothes. You know, we'll keep the skull masks for now, I think. Oh, yeah. I was like, why are you missing a toe? Right, somebody bit it off. Oh, and he already hit level 9, too. Right, it's still going to take a little bit. Well, it's going pretty quick. It's going pretty quick. Or not that bad. Temperatures across the board are nice. Nothing to worry about. Magnus is making some stone. Right now, they're just set up to use anything nearby. Whatever's the closest stone. Oh, look at that. We got plenty of rice and potatoes, too. We don't even have to go hunting. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Do I have access to better furniture, too? Reception table. What I was thinking is... Yes, I do, actually. Um... Marble, I guess? Two marble end tables? Psychic drone, female. I think that's half the colony. Ah, uh, no, that's more than that. There's only two guys in here, so that's two-thirds of the colony. And what's the other one? It's a dresser. Marble dresser. And we can, uh... Yeah, put that against the far wall here. Ew, we got our first trader. Oh. Incoming vampires. Oh, they, okay, they seem okay. They, they don't seem cruel or anything. You look still like to live and die in my colony, please. Exclamation point, join to uh, get on the queue, KJ. Also free food. Uh, they just... Okay, this is fine. Nope, that's fine. Totally fine. They just dug holes in the ground. Okay, they're just hanging out. Oh, no. Will they come for me at night? When the blood moon hits? In three days? Oh, no. How does this work? Do, I ha do they have to be invited in? I don't know how vampires in this game work. Where's the uh, trader? Here he is. I like how they all have fedoras. It's cute. Oh, he's got some stuff. My grimoire is worth nothing? I don't believe that. These guys are exotic goods traders. I only have 200 bucks. And nothing worth selling. I want to sell my components, though. Well, there's stuff I want. Skill book used to help characters with the professions and skill improvement. Cool. Bionic animal liver, prosthetic can, bionic foot, bionic can, some gold, a bone sculpture, a bamboo large serpent humanoid sculpture. Interesting. Unfortunately, there's nothing here for me. Tried the Wa Skellington's mod. It's kind of OP broken. Um, it doesn't ring a bell. 
Complex clothing, huzzah! All right. Production. Hand tailor bench. Blip it down right there. Oh, uh, that does not ring a bell, KJ. I've not played that one before. When am I going to eat the visitors? Well, I mean, I think the first thing, like, before we start murderizing people that are, you know, carrying around bionics that they're selling, they probably have good weapons. They will just die. They're so buggy, it's not even funny. Some stay in the dirt forever. Some come out during the day and burn, but most die at some point and lower your standing with your faction. Oh, really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for the info. Taylor. Looks like, um, who's the best? Two Dog is the best. Thomas is the best. Um, I'm gonna say either Justin or Thomas. If you're not working on anything, what we're gonna do is I think we'll start with What do we want to start with? Pants. Make six pairs of pants. We'll make six pairs of pants. So people can start wearing pants. So I mean... Technically, couldn't if I wanted to just get rid of them, could I just open up their graves during the daytime and let them burn? I mean, shouldn't that technically be... I mean, it sounds douchey. But, I mean, I could do it. Acliff doesn't have anything to do. There's, there's nobody on the, the stone cutter table. Whoa! Those are some excellent pans made out of tortoises. No more no pants parties. Well, I'm sure. Well, I mean, at least Magnus and Zate have no pants parties. Hide your church because some groups will turn on you if they see it. Oh, interesting. Do we run out of marble? I think we did. Well, here, let's go ahead and cancel these. Make them out of slate. I got plenty of slate or granite. Nah, slate. Furniture. Slate. Oop, that one's off center. Let's redo it. Oop, there we go. Oh, the Zate's wearing a purple coat now. Right? Oh, it's just a purple button down. Sorry, I got like a frog in my throat there. See you, Wolf King. Thanks for coming by. This has been a fun playthrough so far. Hide the chapel in Mossy Stone in the northeastmost corner of the map. Like, throw it down over here? Oh, you know what? I should have someone get this jade. We'll get there eventually. Oh, nice. That one's normal and good. Somewhat impressive and somewhat impressive. Very nice. The finest men's attire is made from the best grass-fed tortoises. Also food. I'm thinking of expanding the base a little too. Like into the next section of rooms. Or, oh, you know what we should we should make sure that there's no more like uh, bone bone buildings to disassemble. Free range tortoise leather. Oh yeah, this up. See, you know what? Um, we got people coming down here. Oh, maybe not. Do I don't? Oh, I don't trust vampires. Is that racist? Oh, it doesn't give me the bone china. I gotta figure out how to make the bone china myself. Although, repurposing it for the bedrooms was a good idea, because it makes those nice bedrooms. So I'm happy about that. Not bad, not bad. 
I, like I really, you know, you know, I really want to keep the bedrooms coming, and I don't have a lot of bone left. Also, you know what? If I want to do that, uh, I I really need to start, you know, like going ham on the deforestation, like really just. Oh, oh no. Blood Moon. I'm watching you. I see you. <laughs> My tribe is located on a occult tribal murder. My colony is located on a tri uh, occult tribal murder grounds. I like that because it's because we're the cult of Disney. These people are still hanging around. Did they just drop a bunch of food on the ground. Did this guy pass out. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a Tommy gun. Zate? You don't mind, right? That guy passed out and... Oh, they're, they're just sleeping here. Okay, so he got... Did he get high on go juice? Or something? Or is it the malnutrition that knocked... Whatever it was, he dropped his shit. I mean, I got a free Tommy gun out of it. Blood, you know, it was a gift from Disney. The Blood Moon came and delivered unto, uh, unto me a weapon of great destruction. Did a was was that a vampire? No, it's not. A, it doesn't look like it's a vampire. It's just some guy. The vampires are still there. Area revealed. Oh, that was just this. It was just some dude from this exotic... I mean, the the unfortunate thing is that he, he dropped some stuff. It wasn't very cool stuff. Because there's, like, bionic body parts in that, that those guys some somewhere. I, I mean, it's fine. I got a free Tommy gun out of it, so and, and a bunch of food. I gotta look a gift horse in the mouth. All right, but anywho... Uh, we are going to keep making bedrooms, uh, structure, because the way we need to do this is basically go, okay, we're going to lay down a bedroom right here. There we are. Yeah, free stuff, free stuff. I'm kind of hoping that some of the other ones pass out now. Uh-oh. We got two deep ones. Oh, all right. I got a Tommy gun for your asses. Um, if, if I hide over here, will they go after these people first? Oh, yeah, they will. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Novak took a little bit of an injury there. I was kind of hoping that actually they would, uh, you know, rough him up a little bit, but whatever. Hey, Total Bowl! Good to see you, bud. Welcome to Call of uh, Rim of Madness, Call of Cthulhu. The blood mood is passed. Are they going to wait for this guy to wake up? No, he's going to die. Um... He's got some nice clothes. How mad are you going to... Are they going to be mad at me if he dies here? I think they will. Probably not a lot. We're just going to let him die. Gukes! Just coming in to say hello. Hello Slightly to you. Slightly smiling face. Ahoy, ahoy. Uh, we could at least get some of these walls. Oh, uh, we... Do we miss a sec? No, we didn't miss a section. Rescue for the faction, then let him die and grab his shit. Strip him first. Um. If I rescue, if I rescue him, will they leave? I feel like I, I, I don't know how that works. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Oh wait, are, they all have food, right? No, they're all start. Wait, they're all starting to to to, to get malnutrition. 
I'm just gonna let this slide. I'm just gonna let this slide and see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. I like how Zate's now wearing like modern clothing, but still has a bone mask on. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for coming by, Lucky Luke. Appreciate it. And we're going to continue this next week, too. So there's that. Uh, Sunday and Monday. Oh, uh, I did not get a mood, um, a new mood debuff. All right, strip him down. Magnus, go take his clothes. <laughs> Cons wait, can I eat him in front of them? That's free clothes, and those were high quality items. They're not leaving. Why are they not leaving? Are they all going to starve to death? No, it looks like they all may have eaten something. Some of them have malnutrition, some of them don't. All right, so anybody, if you want, go get the clothes. Also, we need, a lot of people are not wearing shirts. So let's make uh, six button-down shirts. There we are. This one's just sleeping on the ground. There, a lot of them are addicted to drugs, too. Oh, oh I'm very jealous, Aaliyah. I'm sure that I could not get in on that if I wanted to. Uh, all right, well, not enough stored. Okay, so we don't have any of that left. So what we'll do is we'll go to... We'll go to the walls, and we'll make our walls out of granite. For the next bedroom. And, of course, bone doors. Everybody likes a good bone door on their bedroom. This is fine. Hey, they, dro they somebody dropped a bunch of uh, joints too. I didn't even notice that. I I think these guys might be broken. I'm oh, they're still they're oh wait, someone else just went down. My my fox just went mad. It's a good thing that the fox is is already been nearly killed by um tortoises and chinchillas and rats. Okay, my my fox is getting beat up by my pet monkey. Oh my god, why won't it, it won't it, she won't drop? And there's that bonded animal death. All right, well, d okay, nothing can go to waste. Somebody eat it. All right, so this guy's down. From what, though? Is it... Is it the pain? Blood pumping? I mean, his malnutrition is only minor. Well, um... Magnus. Equip, it, equip the old-fashioned rifle, I guess. Don't mind me. Just gonna go ahead and grab that rifle. All's well. Magnus and Zade are making love. We got it. We have a bunch of deep old one meat, but I don't know if we're going to be eating it. Also, how's that? Oh, that research. Just a, We just have a, a tiny little blip on the radar there. Barely anything. All right, we're going to have to start making some of these... Uh, some furniture out of wood instead of, you know, animal bone. So, double bed out of wood. And pop that in right there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, they're starting to get a little upset. I'm sorry that your people are... Why is that guy missing a head? I'm sorry that he's wearing a human leather button-down shirt. And we have a volcanic winter. All right, all right, all right, all right. This guy's death was not my fault. 
Somebody bit off his head. All right. These guys are clearly broken. I'm just... Doom! All right. Never mind. They decided to leave. Uh, except for that muffalo who's just hanging out there. Can I, um... Okay, no, this is fine. Check the combat log. For, um... I mean, all I got is this guy. Oh, there's another one in there. Somebody went mad, maybe. Luco smashed Amy in the head heartlessly. Amy smashed Luco in the left leg in an explosion of gore. Duffy tried to shoot a burst at Luco with her Tommy gun. Zelvulian hit Luco with a projectile. Novak wielding her Tommy gun with precision. Injured, shot Luco in the head. Luco expired. Uh, I think this one I'll just rescue. Because his stuff is no good. Oh, I got a bunch of weapons and stuff out of it. Just shove some food in there. That person will be fine. I'll get a mood buff. I'll, I'll get a, a, a buff. Like, this person's it's tainted clothes because they died in it. And it wasn't that great of stuff anyway. Um, do we have room in here for anything else? Mm, barely. So it might be time to actually expand this now. We were I didn't want to do it earlier, but it might be time to expand. Why don't I just look over at chat and see the word penis pump? Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we we're out of we're out of room here. So uh Can I expand it down safely? Give myself some more room, like here. And a uh, bridge, right there. So we can build on top of that. Good evening, Mr. Good Sir. Do you have any plans on playing Oxygen Not Included by any chance? Maybe? I am I am literally playing that on my YouTube channel right now. Uh, I start, uh, the episode started going up yesterday. Um, if that goes over well, I'll do a live stream of it as well. But yeah, um, Benjamin Magnus, look for me on, just type in, like, go to, go to, go to, go to, go to, go to YouTube. Benjamin Magnus, Oxygen uh, Not Included. But yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I played a few hours of it months and maybe a year, year and a half ago. I was gonna say months ago, it was longer than that. And it was like, eh, there wasn't a lot of content in the game back there then. Uh, and I just started playing it again recently, and all, all, all's well. All's good. I like it. I like it a lot. How much meds do we have? Nice! 50! That's about a few. Item stash quest. Bone plate armor. Beware valuables tend to attract danger. That's really close, but I'm not confident in my abilities. Three days is still longer than I'd like to be away from home. And another party. These people party a lot. And so what we'll do is we'll finish this up, and then we'll just take this wall out, and we'll expand the, the zone down. Ayo! A healer named Deteta Fee is crashing in a transport pod. Deteta is not affiliated with a faction. What the goddamn fucking hell? It's a vampire! That is a vampire! Oh my god. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Wait, what? 
It is a vampire with no combat skills. With none? No combat skills? I mean, you're good at everything else, but still. I can't rescue him. I can, um... I can arrest the vampire, but I cannot rescue them. Uh, okay, that means I need a prison. Like, fast and dirty. That's fine. No, I can make that work. Um, uh, I can make a prison. Oh, hey, look, I got a prison ready. <laughs> Perfect. All right, somebody go uh, arrest the vampire? Pain medium. She's pretty fucked up. I feel like maybe I should send someone with some melee skills out there. In case, um... You no, know I'm gonna send Zade out with the Tommy gun. And Fake Cliff out with the knife. Just in case this thing flips out and tries to eat me. Oh god, what's what's happening? What what the fuck's happening? Is it on fire? It's it's literally on fire. It's literally oh It landed too far away. I mean I set my I the second it hit the ground I paused the game and I sent my people out to get it. It was just too far away. Oh That is sad. Now it's just ashes of the tetafi. I wanted my vampire. Well, I mean, there's still these guys down here. A non-combat vampire. Yeah, no, wouldn't that be? Doesn't that sound cool? I am really bummed out about that. Oh, mad wild boar. That's actually kind of dangerous. Uh, and I kind of want to tame those alpacas, but I don't have anything to feed them. Well, I think I have some rice. All right, Zate. Let's let's test out your uh, Tommy gun skills. Uh oh. There's one. Uh oh. Zate. Zate, no. Did you just throw dirt in its eyes? Can you? You can't fire at it from here. Um. Magnus, you gotta take that rifle. Can you run away from it? Doom! Oh, there we go. Hit it with that burst. Oh, Zate got hurt. Uh, just a little, just a little scratch. No, it's fine. It's okay. Just a little scratch. It's just a little scratch. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody's fine. Um, I forgot that there's just... Ooh, is that... That's that's a human corpse. So, did it, it looked like the... You know what? I bet it was raining in the sun, and it was, but it was daytime. Everything's perfectly all right I bet now. that's We're why fine. that vampire guy We're went down. We're all fine here now. Thank you. It's not fine, though. Our vampire died. I mean, Zayt's fine, but the vampire died. I'm sad about that. Mine out what needs to be mined out. Deconstruct what needs to be deconstructed. And we'll turn this into, we'll, we'll, oh God. Is that my monkey? My monkey went insane. Oh no. It's getting punched. Just stun the monkey. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Just, just, just grab it and. Oh. I need, I need better melee weapons too. Well, there goes uh, another pet. We're down to the cat. That's unfortunate. 
and take it tended new oh is this this person still alive two dog please and thank you there we are a cliff oh you got a monkey bite too That's a lot of monkey bites. That's a lot of monkey bites. Oh, some of it is just monkey fists. Okay, Justin got beat up by a monkey. This is fine. Monkey spanking. Oh my, that's that's lewd. Rum's like, I, I'm not a fan of rum either. I like scotch. Scotch, scotch, scotch. Scotch in my belly. Oh, you know what? The cat's eating the old human corpses. That cat has been slowly eating an entire human. This is fine. I kinda like that, actually. Mr. Boos, Mr. B double O Z. I'm in I'm in a great mood because I'm playing this game again, so I don't need the booze today. Wait till tomorrow when we're playing EU4. Should we leave a, a column up? Or is this is this narrow enough to be okay? Who's not wearing anything? Faycliff, what are you, are you missing a shirt? All right, there's shirts coming. Oh, you went down again. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, it's the go juice, isn't it? Withdraw from the goo juice. You know, that was, I think that was the problem with that whole um, group of people coming by. They were all addicted to drugs. They were all addicted to various drugs. I think that was the problem. And then they, they ran out and started going through uh, withdrawal. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. We have struck the compacted machinery that we is that we've known has been there for weeks. But that's a lot of uh more storage st storage storage room. Oh, it didn't collapse. Excellent. Beep. Perfect. All is well. We haven't had to worry about hunting in a, a long time. We ate that elephant and then we've been eating potatoes and rice since then. Hey, Justin's got a fancy new hat. And a nice little uh, jaunty bowler. I like that. Oh, Bowman, you're not going to make it. I'm going to have to... Oh. Bowman, you're not going to make it to the edge of the map before you collapse again. I promise you. You're also naked because I stole your clothes. Oh, and this is a prisoner room now. We don't... We don't need that. Um, well, I think we, we, what we want to do is, uh, oh no, I have medicine. It's okay. All right. Who's got malaria? A group from the agency are visiting. Justin has malaria. Uh, okay. So let's make sure we have medicine. Uh, a sign? Doom! That is Justin. Wait, isn't that the best doctor? Yep. All right. Two dog. Not just by a little bit. Two dog. Tend. I should move the meds inside. Don't die from malaria. Also, you should be resting. Also... We should actually have medical beds in here now. So let's get rid of those and actually tell them to build some furniture. <laughs> build some furniture in there. Oh, these guys might have a uh, trading material too. Oh, no, that's 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 the Oh, fuck Bowman. Oh, they've got a Webley! 
Package survival meal. They got components. They got medicine. I, ca I think I might buy that medicine. I will sell them the drugs that I found on the ground. I will sell them the bows. I'm going to keep that Tommy gun and the pomp, sh pomp shank in. Uh, old pants. I'll get rid of. Except. Insufficient to cover it. That's fine. It's just a few cents. I use that medicine on my injured dillies. Oh, did they take... Agents? Are they going for Bowman? And also, also, where was that... Where was that Cobra? Oh, they're carrying Bowman away. Oh, they, it killed Jed. We're, 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 I, oh, 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 well, okay, we're out of pets. This is fine. How's that malaria treating you? Maybe you should be resting. I need new pets. Maybe ones that are less useless. Oh, animals. Uh, wildlife, 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 wildlife. Uh, alpacas. Go get a pair of alpacas. If possible. I'm going to turn those. Uh, these I can definitely just disassemble now. Uh, deconstruct those. I'm going to take this down too. I might just move it. It's, it's actually chill outside. Rice is still growing. It's not freezing yet, so that's good. Yearning for more pets to hang around the chair. I got a penny right here. Ah! Uh. Fake Cliff, Thomas Rex, and Zate just came down with tribal uh, with tribal parasites with paras uh, muscle parasites. Um, that's not deadly though. It's annoying, but you need to have regular medicine. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do, orders, let's, uh, no, zones. Let's set up a stockpile zone right here. We're going to call this, uh, we'll rename it first. This is going to be uh, medical supplies. Not food. I think it's under manufactured medicine. There it is. Beautiful. Start using a little bit of that meds up. We have it. Might as well use it. The malaria is getting treated. Uh, it looks like he'll be okay for now. The rice is getting harvested nice. We might get a little bit more heal root out relatively soon. Uh, and I do want more of these. Here, let's um, build one of those right there and deconstruct this one. We'll have five medical beds in here. The other half will be barracks. Priority. Yep. Sorry, I did forget about that. I'm going to put this on important. Thank you. I forgot about that. Malaria has not been tended. Uh, two dog. Tend. I bought some medicine for this purpose. I do not want to die from malaria. A hundred. Beautiful. Okay, that's a treatment and a half right there. That's great. That is just great. All right, and Zate's actually bringing over the other beds. Medical. One last bed, and that'll be my little medical area. Uh, <laughs> the person with a uh, with a new bedroom cannot use it because they're horribly sick. Wow, masterwork. Zate made a masterwork bed. Amazing. That's amazing. This has been a... I am glad I decided to do this again because I've been having a good time playing RimWorld once again. Oh, that's a panther. Oh, I don't trust... Oh!
Why do you do this to me? Why? Why? <laughs> so we got malaria, muscle parasites, and the plague all in the course of like five minutes. Rest until healed. Two dog. Uh, Magnus. Definitely gets the good stuff. That's the plague. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. What's worse? I feel like the plague is worse than, um, than malaria. Oh, no. Okay, I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad we got a little bit of meds to work with, though. A little bit of the good meds. A little bit of the good meds. My clinic is a pile of bones. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, they're sterile-ish. You don't need treatment, you're fine. You need treatment in two hours. And look, you just made a nice shirt. Once you need treatment, you'll go lay down. I think... I think what we'll do is we'll... Because, let's see, malaria is at 34%, immunity is at 58 We'll have... We'll uh, regulate the good meds to the plague. Zombie weather outside. Oh, yes. I love me some zombie weather. Zombie weather is generally cool. I mean, we still got a really good, um... Let's see, what is this? 10 quality. Still 77%. That's good. Alright, alright. Well, I'm recovering from the plague. Not... Uh, just relatively well. Relatively well. Yeah, cram the food down my gullet, then the medicine inside wherever it needs to be. 97%. That's another good one. That's another good one. Ooh, the potatoes are almost done, too. Part of me wants to go dig up those vampires just to see what's going on. So is that a... What is under you? A dead rat. Wow, did these guys just go ham on a bunch of rats or something? Because there's dead rats everywhere. 110 degrees outside today? Oh, Nope. Mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, then the exiled huzzahs arrived! Well, right at the end of the stream. We got 10 minutes left. Then the winged huzzahs arrived. Uh, so, is everybody sick now? Plague? Muscle parasites? Plague, or muscle parasites? Uh, two dogs, okay. Muscle parasites and malaria. Yeah, everybody, well, everybody but one. Everybody but one. God bless it. No. Oh, that's a bad luck. But I don't think, it, uh, thankfully we got some good meds. That helped out a lot. Magnus is actually recovering from the plague really quickly. I mean, it definitely hurts the efficiency of the colony. Oh, this is off on, uh, this needs to be moved down one tile. Ooh, cargo pods. What is that? Oh, that, that is uh, 200 coconuts. This is fine. I'm sure that we can get food out of those. And Magnus is just chills. With the plague, he's still trying to... Wow, 38% chance? How many times have I failed that? I imagine a lot. Zate's got a really... He is an interesting character. He's got this, uh, this, this trench coat on. A bison wool trench coat, tortoise pants, and a skull mask. Just want to amplify the chance of disease. Yes, I do know that. I was just, uh, commenting on the, the fact how I was rather unlucky for all to hit at the same time. <laughs> But I think we'll be okay. 97%, you're fine. Magnus, 92%, you're fine. Uh, I'm actually going to put everybody back on doctor care only right now. So I don't use up my meds. I had 50 of these. 
I think we probably used more than six. I think we may have harvested some more. By the way, we're still good on meds. Could I say something about this mod? Oh, we're using um, a collection of mods uh, that add Lovecraftian horrors here. So lots of Call of Cthulhu stuff. Hello, I'm a C. Red oh, I can't read that. So Redify, nice to see you. Ahoy, hoy! And welcome. Hello, Chris CR. That works too. But yeah, there is the list of mods um, over there. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'll put it in the description, of course, so that it's easier to pop out. Uh, and that list needs to be altered by just like one or two mods. But it's a—it's not just one mod. It's like a collection. Oh God damn it! Are you serious? I was looking away and talking. God damn it! What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> I got over the plague and immediately got malaria. Look at that. I saw the malaria thing down there. I was like, is this the old one? Then I went, no, I clicked off of that. Oh, God damn it. All right, Magnus. Uh, medical, back to the good stuff. You know what sucks, too, is he just got treated using one of the good meds before he came down with malaria. Which meant that thing just went to waste. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. Yeah, well, the volcanic winter's not that bad. It's just making it a little chilly outside. But it hasn't gotten below freezing yet. Yet. So no none of the plants have died. Not good. I mean, J Justin got over the, um, he got over his malaria, though, so that's good. Got shot in the eye once before he got here, but got over the malaria. What are we eating? Oh, we're just cooking coconuts. Oh, I hate coconut. Oh, you know, and we got rice. The, the rice is ready to harvest. The, the potatoes are, half the potatoes are half done. We're fine on food. It's okay. It's just, oh, poor Magnus. And everybody else is down with muscle parasites. Which basically makes them, makes them sleep all day. Alrighty. Magnus is going to be down for a while. One of these is masterwork. He should sleep in this one. Magnus. Rest in that bed particularly. It, it'll make you... That bed has got really nice sheets. You'll, you heal faster. I think I may have overdone it on the... Um, this is the, the extra storage space, but that's fine. Also, doesn't somebody need a weapon? Thomas needs a... A stabbing implement. The steel a kiwa. Or a wisa? I thought it was a wisa, but it, I got, it looks like a kiwa in here. Yes. Yes, harvest. Gentle snow. It is 9 degrees C outside. It is not snowing. <laughs> I not entertain. Pug Wolf, thanks for the follow. It is not snowing at 10 degrees Celsius. Uh oh, ooh, ooh, I forgot about this guy. Ooh, his corpse is rotting. Um. Oh, people, I um. Reanimated corpse corpse? Alright, let's make sure that this is, uh... Let, let's put all those bodies away. Wish for a nuclear winter? Well, I do have a volcanic winter, yeah. Yeah, let's put those old bodies away just so that nobody has to look at them when we walk by. Also, is... No, that's not our cat. That's the cat that just appeared randomly. Exiled Huzzah! Thank you very much for the tier 2 sub. Appreciate that. Then the winged Huzzahs arrive. I'm going to come in there and corpse you up. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, they corpsed themselves up. Thank you very much. Because they, well, one guy starved to death. 
then one guy had like a freaking mental break because he didn't bring enough drugs for the journey. And then that guy got shot in the face by his friend, I think. Refugee chased at Orlando. A fearful ch uh, chef named BB calls nearby from nearby. She's being chased by lost soldiers from the 13th Infantry Division. I told you those are bad dudes. She begs for safety and offers to join the colony. She tells you she's 31 years old. There's no time to collect more information. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the lost soldiers. There's three lost soldiers. Incapable of violent, social, animal, cooking, or firefighting. She's a fast walker, gourmand, and sickly. Um, I'm gonna- sickly human? Don't need that. And considering the amount of things you are incapable of doing, bye-bye, BB. Not- not risking the health and welfare of my colony while most everybody's down with illnesses for someone who's incapable of doing half the things I need. But we are out of time for the day. I think that's a good ending point right there with, uh, leaving BB to her horrible, horrible death. Yeah, sickly, not gonna be good at a swamp. Not gonna be good at a swamp. Um, it's like that one, that one where I had two wimps in my starters, and, you know, a strong breeze would fly, would, would, would blow through, and they would just be like, oh, and fall over. Uh, but yeah, sorry, everybody. Um, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, this will be up on YouTube, of course. I'll make sure there's a, an easy-to-access playlist so everybody at any time can watch it, um, you know, one episode to the next. I will be continuing this um, every Sunday and Monday for the foreseeable future, and uh, it will always uh, be posted on the stream schedule, which is in Discord. I update that every Sunday. Um, tomorrow and the day after, I'm going to be playing EU4. Well, I'm going to play a little bit of CK2, and then we're going to do EU4 and EU4. Uh, new game at U4. I've been away from it for, what, six, eight weeks now? Something like that. I'm excited to play again. I needed a little break from it, but now I want to play again. Kind of like this right here. A little break from Wimworld. I want to play it again. But anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.